green light. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Wait for the green light. Come on here. We are ready to go. Hey, guys. How are you going? So today on BKR Sport, we are here for round number 12 of the NRL season. And uh, yeah, look, it's not going to be the most exciting of games. I don't personally believe. Now, look, I could be wrong. Obviously, we were wrong about the Roosters Broncos game last week. But in the same sense, we weren't really because that was a dubious rort. That was a dubious rort. But in the same sense, Broncos still played well. Roosters still played shit. Right? Today, guys, Melbourne Storm, Brisbane Broncos. Broncos are at home. Don't know why I said Melbourne Storm first. But the Brisbane Broncos take on the Melbourne Storm. Now, this is going to be an interesting game because obviously the Broncos are riding in on that high of beating the Sydney Roosters last week. You know, it's a fantastic result for them. Um, they will take whatever they can damn well get. You know, they are in 15th place right now. Even after that win, they are still in second last. The Storm, on the other hand, obviously, uh, they come into this game winning. Again, what's the difference? Like, we know this. This happens every time, all the time, every week, ever the Storm always wins. So, look, coming into this game, I'm assuming the Storm are going to win this one by quite a decent amount. Obviously, Nico Hines is really firing for them. It is Indigenous round, so uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the, the passion from the Indigenous like Josh Haddo Carr, um, you know, uh, and a few of these other guys. They just really are proud of their heritage, and it's fantastic to see in Indigenous round, and you will see it this weekend. So, definitely back in Josh Haddo Carr to have a blinder in this one. Um, but, guys, let me know your tips in the chat. I'm going to take Melbourne Storm 46 to... Seven. No, why seven? Jeez. I was going to say six and then ten. Seven? 46 to seven? <laughs> Wait a second. Um, I'll go 46 to 10 to the Melbourne Storm. But let me know in the chat what your your thoughts are. Trevor Daly says, this could be the upset of the year. You are drunk. Mevita says, hey, Haz, let's hope, buddy. Oh, no, here we go. Where are the Broncos fans? They're coming in thick and fast. They're coming in thick and fast. But guys, let's get to 30 likes before the stream. The game does start. We're eight likes away from hitting 30. Andre De Leon says, Brisbane 24, Melbourne 16. Drunk. Nathan Tudor says, up the Broncos, Brisbane. Drunk. Mevita says, Hey, Blaze, not drunk. The hell I mate. You could be drunk, but I don't know. Carlos Scheller says, hola, hola, amigo. How you doing? Um, Mackenzie Porter says, you are the hero. Appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, but no, you are the hero for tuning in. Daz mate says, let's hope the Bronx get smashed. Buddy, we can all hope, mate. We can we can, we can, can all hope. Um, Sarkis, had shitty, says, yo, what's up, Blaze? Missing you. What did everybody mean, mean, mean? I was on stream like literally five days ago, mate. Buddy, what's today? Thursday. I stream every NRL game. So what was I on? Sunday. Buddy, two weeks, mate. It's only been four days. Don't you worry. We've got a big weekend coming up here. Ooh, it's a big weekend coming up here. Tomorrow is actually, it's actually a very interesting weekend. It's very difficult to tip besides this game, right? So obviously Broncos and Storm is an easy one to tip, yeah? Um, <laughs> but tomorrow, I think there's Warriors Tigers, which is interesting. Oh, Warriors Cowboys and Tigers Knights. Hold on. Let me have a look at tomorrow's games. They're really, really strange, actually. Um, Cowboys Warriors and Tigers Dragons. Um you know, it's 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 weird. It's I, whoever decided that Tigers and Dragons should be the prime time Friday night game should be sacked. Um, NRL, if you're watching this, please sack whoever decided to have the Tigers and Dragons as the 7:55 p.m. game. I am disappointed in you. Uh, Penapool dogs, easy. Rabbits, eels, good game. Uh, Roosters, Raiders, <laughs> buddy. We'll get into the Raiders in this stream, don't you worry. We'll start talking about the Raiders very damn well soon. Um, Sharks, Titans. I may be at that game in Coffs Harbour. We'll see how we go. And then obviously the Knights and Manly. Ooh, I like it. Uh, see the boss says, hello, my man. Hello, mate. Best vlogger says, hello. Reese Dumbledore says, what are your tips for the week, Blaze? Um, all right, so I'm taking, well, I'll put it out as a community post. I was meant to put it out already. I actually forgot that I hadn't put it out yet. Um, but I'll take, obviously, Storm. I'll take Warriors. I'll take Tigers. Just, that's a shit house game. Uh, I'll take Panthers, obviously. I'll take Rabbitohs against the Eels. Uh, Roosters against the Raiders. Go Titans against the Sharks. And, we'll, you know, I'll go Manly. Of course, I'll go Manly. But in the same sense, the Knights are a pretty big bogey team for the old Manly Sea Eagles. They've got a big rivalry there, too. So, might be a bit more interesting than you actually do believe. Uh, Scotty Burns says, It's a decent game, but I think Melbourne will blow them in first half. Funnily enough, the last time these two teams played um, was not a nice game for the Broncos, obviously. Uh, the, I think Melbourne have won their last seven in a row at Suncorp, mind you. Um, but the last game these two teams played was back in, I think, round three, four, maybe three or four, uh, when Pappenhausen went and scored legit like four tries in the space of 10 minutes. Um, it was ridiculous. Uh, but the Broncos did lead 6-0 after like 30 minutes in that game. The Broncos did lead 6-0 after like 30 minutes in that game before obviously getting absolutely pumped um, at the end of that half. Um, you know, they lost 40-6. to six. They lost They lost 40-6. to six. So, you know, that tells you a lot considering they were leading 6-0 um, after 30 minutes. But guys, we are still waiting here for the game to get started. Let's hit six more lights. Come on, let's get to 30 before the game starts, baby. Ooh, 
Ooh, Medvedev says, I wouldn't be surprised if the Tigers beat the Dragons. They were embarrassing last week. Mate, the Tigers are favorites. The Tigers are favorites for a reason. Um, if you're betting on that game with your actual hard-earned money, I feel sorry for anyone who does that because like, that is just such a stupid game. Um, look, I'm, I'm looking forward to it for the fact that it could be close, just like Sharks-Dragons last week. You know, both teams aren't great. Um, but in the same sense, sometimes that can bring out the best. You know, sometimes that can show you the real kind of um, exciting games because both teams are so shit that they, they both don't want to win. But someone has to win. Huh? It's not like when you play the Storm and the Panthers and someone has to lose. No. With teams like Tigers and Dragons, someone has to bloody win, mate. And they don't want that. Uh, Jacko, 2526 is Storm by Plenty. Mate, you're not too far off the uh, off the case there. Power Pro Play says 8-50 to 50 the Storm way. Fair enough. Dazman says that was the game where Coates is apparently faster than Adokar. Um, yeah, that's stupid. Like, if you're coming on here and you think that Adokar is... Not as fast as Xavier Coates. Like, Adokar clearly caught him in that. <laughs> he clearly caught him with like 40 meters to go. Xavier Coates had the head start. Adokar caught him with 40 meters to go, but decided to dive too early, like literally an inch too early. So technically didn't catch him at 40 meters to go, but caught him with 40 meters to go. Um, <laughs> Josh Adokar clearly got him. Um, Carl Scheller says, is your ankle getting any better? Yeah, man, I can walk on it pretty finely now. Um, I don't uh, have to walk around with the crutch anymore, so no, I'm pretty good. Storm team today, guys. Nico Hines with Jennings and Addo Carr on the wings. Remus Smith and Olam in the centers. Johns and Hughes in the halves with Bromwich and Asafa Solomona in the front row forward line. Brandon Smith as the number nine with Kafusi, Eisenhuth, and Finnegan as, uh, well, Finnegan as the uh, back row there. Um, Reece Summerlow says, yeah, I feel bad for George Williams. Rays treat their players shit. Yeah, um... Look, I, I posted this on my BKR Sport Instagram the other day about this George Willing situation. Um, I just want to say, like, look, it's all well and good that mental health is spoken about more, guys. It's all well and good that uh, people think, oh, no, mental health's okay now. You know, we speak about it more freely. It doesn't mean it's being treated responsibly. So that's all I'm going to say about that situation because it's a pretty messed up situation. Um, look, I don't believe that just, there's just one side of the story. I, I don't believe that George Williams is the only one in the right here. Um, I don't even necessarily believe he is the right, but in the same sense, if what he's saying is true, and I believe that he's telling the truth, and I, his truth, and I believe the Raiders are telling their truth, and then there's obviously come in between, right? So no matter what, someone, they're, they're both, look, they both don't believe they're probably fabricating it to an extent, but in the same sense, it has been emphasized to a great deal. So look, I, I would definitely side with George Williams on this. A lot of the players actually liked his tweet as well. So that makes me believe him a lot more as well. Um, but yes, just because mental health is spoken about more freely in public doesn't necessarily mean that it's being treated responsibly. Uh, but enough of that, let's get into the game. Sark is Hadshiti says, always was, always will be. Um, okay, in regards to the indigenous, I guy says, who is Josh Adons? Uh, I don't know who Josh Adons is. Who's Josh Adons? Colin Michael says, Coates is faster than Adokar. Stupid comment. All right, so we're just about to, we're just waiting here for the teams to run out. Looking forward to seeing Albert Kelly, obviously, for the Broncos. Now, obviously, he's an ex-Gold Coast Titan. Um, a lot of, actually, the Broncos are use, uh, utilizing ex-Titans, actually. How <laughs> funny that. Um... But, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing Albert Kelly play for this team alongside Milford, funnily enough. Now, Milford's obviously been on the out and people have really been criticizing him and he's always the scapegoat for the Brisbane Broncos. Uh, but I always think it's quite unfair that he's the scapegoat for the Brisbane Broncos. Um, I think that he's actually better than people give him credit for. I don't believe he's been absolutely fantastic like he was in 2015. Um, but I do believe he is the scapegoat for that club. Just like Ash Taylor is for the Titans. Um, you know, for the Sharks, it's Matty Moylan. Um, or arguably Chad Town. I'd go Matt Moylan, to be honest with you. You know, there is nothing with the Storm, but I guess with the Raiders, it would be Jack White. And there's always a player who gets the, the brunt, who cops the brunt of it. They're just doing an Indigenous um, celebration right now before the game does get started, guys. Um, Ash now says, I think Broncos pull up upset, 30-24. Okay, cool. That's uh, wrong. Ethan's not here. He says, what are your bets for this round? Um, if, well, buddy, Storm to win. How about that one? I've got to turn this up a little bit. I, like, I actually really like that intro to the um, this week of Indigenous round. It's really cool. I love it. Uh, Mate says, Flanagan for the dogs. What's about, what about Flanagan for the dogs? Ahmad El Curdy says, who is faster? Jason Saab, Xavier Coates or Adokar? I think that Jason Saab is a very pacey play for the way his length of his legs and the way that he runs. I think his strides are massive. But I think Adokar obviously beats him and Adokar beats Xavier Coates. I'm not even listening to anyone who says that, that otherwise. Um, but look, I think that uh, the way that Jason Saab strides is a way to gain extra meters quickly. Um, so I do really like the way that he runs. Uh, Sport Reaction says, Blaze coming to Melbourne for game one of Origin. Yeah, good luck, mate. Yeah, good luck, buddy. Why don't you guys just keep it down, all right? Why don't you guys just... Why is it always Victoria? What's going on down there? Sport Reactions, what's going on down there in Victoria? What are you guys doing? Are you having parties every day or what's going on? 
I don't know what's going on with you guys down in Victoria. Gee whiz. Cam Nevis says, how are we, Blaze? Oh, fantastic. I had a nice little fantastic morning watching the Europa League final. That was a brilliant final. And if you uh, didn't watch the Europa League final, oh, trust me, it's a beautiful one. It is... Uh... <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Eat a dick, Man United. Sarkis had shit. He says, have you heard about the Room of Dragons might trade Duffy for Nico Hines? Um, I don't believe the Storm would do that. I don't, uh, <laughs> don't get me started. Um, I don't believe the Storm would do that. I don't think they would want Dufty. Look, I don't think that Dufty's a bad player. I think Dufty's a good player. Uh, but I do believe the game has kind of gone away from him. Um, in today's game, guys, you need to be a big body player with pace, right? You need to be a big body player with pace. Um, Dufty's a small body player with pace, right? So um, look at the forwards. Obviously, they're big bodied and they have pace. You know, you look at. Nico Hines, he's a relatively big body. Um, he's got pace. Uh, you look at majority of them. AJ Brimson's still a pretty stocky guy for, for someone who you wouldn't necessarily pick as a big kind of fullback. Um, but then you go and look at Latrell Mitchell. You go and look at Clint Gutherson. You go and look at these other guys. And, and majority of them, Tedesco, they, they just simply are a bit more beefy than what Matt Dufty is. So that's the only problem that I find with his game style. But the game has started here, guys. And the Broncos will start off with the ball here 20 minutes out from their own line. Jet tells us who won this morning. Villarreal, baby. Oh, knock on from the Broncos off the first tackle. Oh, no. <laughs> He's lost his lollies, lads. He's lost his lollies on the first ball. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Ashton Nala says, Man United for life, true fan of the end. Well, this, it was the end. Don't you worry. We got to see a full... Uh, full penalty shootout. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one, too. Mr. Lachlan says, Storm 54-6, to six, but... Um, Jeez, Albert Kelly's lost the ball there, and the storm will start here. So the Broncos got the kickoff, but uh, they did they really? Because we're literally, you know, we're 20 seconds in, and, and the storm are going to have the ball already here. So uh, a minute gone here, guys. The storm on the left hand side, 20 minutes out, gets it off to the big man Nelson of Suffer Solomona. 15 minutes out, still going here. Is this going to be a bit of a reality check? Oh my God, the storm are going to get the ball away there. Storm are going to get the ball away there. Brandon Smith. Oh, that's a knock on for the Broncos. Storm here, fresh set of six, eight minutes out. Oh my God, don't do this to him. Don't do this to the Brisbane Broncos this early. No, no. Nelson of Solomon is still going here. Three minutes out. Oh, he goes to the offload. There's literally five players on top of Nelson of Solomon right now. Wow, we. <laughs> Scotty Burns just sums up Broncos' last two years in one play. Absolutely. And then Mays out here. Jerome Hughes gets it off to Nico Hines. Nico Hines gets it off, and it's going to be the one. Oh, it's going to be what's going on here? Penalty? I've heard a whistle here. Oh, forward ball. What's going on here? What are we calling here? What are we calling here? What's going on right now? Uh, Reese says, do you have a Warriors jumper on the shop? Yeah, man, absolutely. You just have to go into the description and check out the Big House Sport Rebel store. That, um, obviously, that post that I made uh, is on shirts, jumpers, t-shirts, everything, man. But the Storm are going to throw a forward pass here, apparently, I think. Nico Hines, where was the forward pass? Oh, there was an obstruction, sorry. So it's a penalty to the Brisbane Broncos here. Um, Mevita says, that was not the best attack from Storm. Uh, yeah, no, it wasn't. Obviously, there was an obstruction there. Um, I thought that he caught... So, the commentary said forward pass, and I didn't see a forward pass, but then apparently it is an obstruction here. So, after two minutes, guys, the Broncos will knock the ball on, and the Storm will uh, provide an obstruction. So, either way, uh, not a good start here from either team. No, I says, I saw analysts predict the Queensland lineup. They selected Brimo on the starting centres. Brimo will start fullback. Brimo will be the starting fullback. Um, I don't believe that Pong is going to have enough time to come back in... Well, what is he, back this week? If he's not back this week, he's not going to have enough time to... to, to um, get a spot over AJ Brimson, but right-hand side here with the Brisbane Broncos, their first tackle, their second tackle here. Oh, here they go. Broncos here, 40 metres out here from the Melbourne Storm line. Second tackle for the Broncos, left-hand side they go. Um, yeah, look, I don't think that Callum Pong is going to have anywhere near enough time to to prove, well, he doesn't need to prove himself, but over someone who's healthy, fit, and been doing pretty well for the Gold Coast Titans, um, they're going to take AJ Brimson there. And if Ponga comes in, then maybe he goes to the 14. But three minutes in here, guys, Broncos get a set restart. They're 25 metres out here from the Storm line. Broncos here, they need to get a good start early. They need to get a good start early if they want to have any kind of chance in this game. Milford taken down here, 13 metres out here. So second tackle here for the Brisbane Broncos. They've already had a set restart. They'll take that one. Left-hand side they come. Left-hand side they come. Albert Kelly. Albert Kelly to make up for his knock on early days. Broncos could actually score here. No, good tackle. Fantastic tackle there. Wow, Remus Smith with a fantastic buddy tackle. So right-hand side here for the Broncos. Albert Kelly steps inside for tackle here. Ugly high tackle there considering. So right-hand side here. Gets it off to uh, the big man, Anthony Milford. Over the top, it's going to be out of car. Oh, it's going to be knocked on from the Broncos. I don't know who this knock on from. Someone knock on. Someone knocked it on. I think it's a knock on against the Brisbane Broncos here. It's get, Yeah, it's going to be a knock on with the Brisbane Broncos first. The Melbourne Storm will get the ball here, but geez, this is a really crazy start to this game. Josh Redekar might be down injured here. That's a big, big, big loss if they do lose him early. 
Um, Saga says, should you please not spam me, bro? But the uh, website to the shop is in the description, man. The website the, uh, to the shop is in the description. The Dragons one just up there, but obviously you know what the Dragons one look like. But the Melbourne Storm will get the ball here from 10 metres out from their own line. Um, Everton says, that was great play from the Bronx. Full credit to the Storm. Great defense. Um, I don't know what who did what there. Uh, Storm, okay. Broncos, okay. I don't know what what was the the big play there. But Joshua Nakara is limping here. He's not feeling good here. Premiership career has had 93 tries in 117 games. Jeez, he's, he's close enough to say, like, try per game. Obviously, he's not on a try per game. But, um, you know, wowee. That's a very, very significant record there. Noah Six says, isn't the Titans the pathway team for Kibra? I think we are back to it being there now. I know the Tigers used to be it. Um, that's why Benji went to the West Tigers, obviously, because he's from Kibra. But I'm, I'm pretty certain the keeper's back with the Gold Coast. Yeah, so second tackle here for the Melbourne Storm. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty certain that keeper is back with the Gold Coast. So second tackle here for the Melbourne Storm, where it should be. It's on the Gold Coast. Right-hand side, the Melbourne Storm come 35 metres out here from the line. Uh, Dazman says, I thought it was a try. Kamehameha says, rattle out for five weeks. What a joke. Yeah, stupid, man. We aren't going to get into that Roosters game. We're not going to get into that Roosters bullshit. So fourth tackle here for the Melbourne Storm. 45 metres out. Right-hand side here. They come. Brent Smith, a nice little run there. Arguably, Milford was not straight there at, square, at marker, but okay, fair enough. So right-hand side. They, oh, bad pass. Jeez, it's going to be... If I'm the Storm here, there's actually going to be a massive gap. Oh, that's a high tackle. That's a high tackle. You're an idiot, Flegler. Bro, Flegler, you stupid on fifth tackle. They're going to get a... What are you doing, Flegler? Flegler, what are you doing, brother? Flegler, brother, brother, brother. Fifth tackle after a massive bad play by the Storm. You're going to give away a penalty? What are you doing, my dude? Um, but arguably, if you... Oh, nah. It's, like, it's, look, it's around the ball and it comes up. It's a penalty. It's not a, it's not a sim bin, but I just know the NRL. The NRL, you know, they don't, they don't mind giving an old sim bin this year. So first tackle here with the Melbourne Storm. Then 35 metres out here from the Broncos line. Only five minutes gone here. A lot's happened in this first five minutes of the game, guys. A lot has happened in the first five minutes of this game. So left-hand side here, first tackle. Jerome Hughes gets it off. Chance here, Nico Hines, Nico Hines, Nico Hines, Nico Hines himself, Nico Hines himself. Oh, taken down 10 metres out here, second tackle. I feel like Nico Hines could have a big game today. I feel like he could have a big game here against his Broncos defense. Right-hand side, Jerome Hughes. Jerome Hughes gets it off. It's going to be uh, Br Bromwich gets it out right-hand side. It's going to be Storm here with the ball, Storm with the ball. Oh, he's going to get taken out. That's good defense on the Broncos. Oh, no, he throws it back in. The Storm here with the ball still. It's still, wow, how did he get that in there still? Um, and what are you kicking that through there for? It's going to be a drop out here, but what's going on in this game? Six minutes in, I'm actually, I don't I don't get this game so far. This game is crazy. Jerome Hughes, why are you kicking that ball through on second tackle? And secondly, Broncos, that was great defense, uh, but the Storm still found a way. How do, how do you get the ball away there with five players on you taking you over the sideline? So Farmworth there and Kelly, it's three, four, four players. How do they not wrap the ball up there? Storm get the ball back, Jerome Hughes. I just don't get why you kick that ball through there on any planet. Um, Mavita says, great work from Hughes. Karen Mavita says, good D from the Broncos. Um, I don't think that was great work from Hughes at all. I don't know why Hughes is kicking that on second tackle. That's, you shouldn't be commending Jerome Hughes for kicking that ball on second tackle. That was close to a forward pass there. Jeez. That was close to a forward pass there. Yeah, Jerome Hughes arguably did wrong there. Um, and uh, and would have been third tackle five metres out and said their first tackle 35 metres out. They're probably going to get back to the same area, but in the same sense, it just wasted a bit of time. Nico Hines gets that ball out to Josh on the car. Josh on the car here, 15 minutes out. He's going to step inside here. Oh my God, that defence. Oh no, that defence was bad. Oh, Jerome Hughes cut down five metres out, second tackle. Alan Davis says, Broncos are making top eight. Broncos are shit house. Second tackle here, left-hand side of the storm. Underneath they go. Brandon Smith taken down one metre short here. Third tackle for... The Storm, right-hand side, they get it off to Jerome Hughes. Jerome Hughes gets it outside. It's going to be Johns, Johns, to Nico Hines. Nico Hines himself, Nico Hines himself, Nico Hines himself. Still going here. Still, what's this Broncos defense? What is the Broncos doing right now? This Broncos defense is just looking shocking. It's like looking good and shocking at the exact same time. Johns here with the ball. Johns here gets it under Justin Olam. Olam here, Olam here, Olam here. Taken down one minute short. And that's going to be a knock-on, maybe? Um, that's going to be a, a knock-on. Okay, thank you very much, Austin Florian, for subscribing. But I don't... Holy shit, what's going on in this game? This is the most random game of footy you're ever going to see. The Storm look look horrific, whilst the Broncos look horrific. But the Storm also look okay, while the Broncos look okay. I don't know whether to say who's doing okay here or who's doing good, because the Storm... That's a terrible knock-on here. Arguably, it's a strip, really. He's pulling on the arm, but it's going to come out. It's going to be a knock-on there anyway. Uh, Quartus Fan says, 
Um, are you trolling? Ashley Nala says, I can't wait for the Sharks to smash Titans. No one cares what your opinion is because you said that you weren't going to be a Sharks fan literally three weeks ago. You win one game against a terrible Dragons team and now you're back on the wagon. Your Mariners are also shit and your Sharks are also shit. So Ashley Nala, please come back to me when you actually can support a team that isn't shit house. A D- page dig shouse, digs house music. Subscribe as well. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Bill Stewart said, it's a strange slow kind of start. It is really strange, man. Jet Taylor, appreciate it as well. So nine minutes gone here. Broncos here. Ten minutes out here from their own line. David Mee taken down here, 15 minutes out. Uh, Muhammad says, what's number seven for Brisbane? Um, number seven would be Milford, and Kelly is number six. Uh, Anthony Milford in the seven, and Kelly in the six. So nine minutes gone here. Second tackle with the Broncos coming off their own line. 30 minutes out here from their line. Tavita Punga Jr. gets the offload away nicely. And it's going to be Flegler. Flegler, I don't know how the Broncos haven't coughed up a mistake here. After all, they're... Um, oh, well, sorry, haven't coughed up a try or points after their early mistakes, but decent defense. They'll take it. They will take it. Uh, Samson says, hope the Storm's going to win this game. Ashton says, how are you raging? Um, yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm raging, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm raging. So, fourth tackle here for the Storm. Anthony Milford gets it off to the... Uh, oh, I'm not even too sure who that is. A Palacia. Is he uh, debutant here for the Brisbane Broncos? Palacia. Oh, no. He's his fourth game in the NRL, apparently. Milford here puts the ball up in the air. And Jerome... That was a terrible kick from Milford. Jerome Hughes going to get away here. Jerome Hughes going to get away here. 45 minutes out. Jeez. That was a terrible kick from Anthony Milford. Um, Ashnell, you also support Man United, who also suck ass. So you honestly support one of the shittest teams on the planet. Well done, Ashen. Second tackle, second tackle here, 40 metres out. Left hand side they come. Left hand side they come, and they're gonna be 30 metres out here from the uh, from the Broncos line. Thank you very much. A para pro plays for subscribing as well. Appreciate you, dude. So right, left hand side they come. It gets it outside of John's. John's here, 15 metres out. Chad says Milford sucks. I think Milford gets blamed too much, but that was a terrible kick. I think Milford, that was a terrible kick, yeah, com- uh, compared to... Uh, Nico Hines here. Nico Hines here. Steps on the inside himself. No one followed him up, though. Could have gotten a try there for the Storm. Right-hand side here, and the Storm are going to throw another ball to the grass. Like, what's going on here with the Storm? Jerome Hughes here. It's gonna, that's going to be a charge down. It's going to be a set of six here again. That's going to be a set of six here again. Oh, that's a knock-on. What are you doing, bro? I'm actually in shock at what's going on in this game. Like, this is a game between two teams who want to lose. This is a game between two teams who want to lose. Like, this is a game between two teams who want to lose right now. Thank you much, Kabir Singe, for subscribing. Appreciate you. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm confused at what I'm, I'm currently watching. Um, how is this happening? Set Reese over the Broncos. <laughs> I don't know what to say, lads. Um... Chats at this game right now. It's so strange. All right, so first tackle is set. Restart again here for the Brisbane Broncos. So 30 meters out here for the Storm line. The Broncos with the ball. This is what I say, guys. They bring you down to their shitness. They just do. Um, Noah Six says, where's this play at Suncorp, Amy? This is at Suncorp. Um, calm down, Daniel Bate. This is such a strange... No, sorry, Chad. Uh, like, Broncos can win at this point. Jeez. Like, they were up 6-0 against the Storm in round four or five, whatever, and, and lost that game 40-6. to six. So... Um, and that was after 30 minutes in the game. So we're only 11 minutes in here. <laughs> but third tackle with the Broncos. And honestly, these two teams look terrible right now. But the Storm are going to... Storm will come good at one stage. But just in the first 11 minutes, wow we. So third tackle here for the Brisbane Broncos. 10 minutes out here. 15 minutes out. Left-hand side they go. Albert Kelly gets it outside to the wing. It's going to be Mead here. David Mead is going to get taken out of the sideline. What are you doing, Mead? But he's going to get tackled down there. Four minutes out. Didn't go over the sideline. And Pangai Jr. is going to have a crack at it. He's going to go backwards. And it's going to be Farmworth taking down 10 minutes out. What is this game right now? Fifth tackle here for the Brisbane Broncos. 10 minutes out. Gets off to Milford. No, sorry, Kelly. Mil- Kelly, Kelly and Milford. Sorry, Kelly's in the seven. And Milford's in the six. Sorry, Kelly's in the seven. And Milford's in the six to correct what I said before. But it will be a drop out here for the Brisbane Broncos. This is such a strange game right now. But guys, let's go and hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. And subscribe if you are new around here. We're only 12 minutes into the game here. And this is just so strange. Cam Mavita says, unless the refs decide to side with the Broncos again like last week, they can't win. Yeah, but you've got to also give credit to them last week, man. Like, yes, the Roosters got robbed in a lot of calls, but in the same sense, the, the Roosters were shithouse last week. Um, they were terrible. Uh, yes, they got refereed out of the game, and I don't look at that game as any kind of impactful thing whatsoever. Um, they got refereed out of the game, but the Roosters also didn't look good with the ball at any stage, really. Uh, but Nico Hines going to keep that ball off here, and it's going to be Albert Kelly who picks the ball up here 35 minutes out. Um, that was a pretty weird kick and pretty weird take, but he does get it. Ja, Noah Six says, Lakers are make, ain't making past the first round. I uh, disagree. Second tackle here for the Brisbane Broncos. The 18 minutes out here for the Melbourne Storm line. 13 minutes gone here, guys. Right-hand side, they come. It's going to be Milford. Milford steps on the inside here. Oh, chopped down 13 minutes short. Third tackle. Jeez, not, nice little tackle there, but Milford made a nice little play. Won't get credit for it, though. Six again here for the Brisbane Broncos. 
Six again for the Brisbane Broncos. For what? Okay, first tackle here. Brisbane Broncos, three metres out here for the Melbourne Storm line. Payne Haas rolls his ball back here, and uh, it's all been in Melbourne's heart. Oh, that's a knock-on from Albert Kelly. Oh, Kelly's not having a good game today. Kelly's not having a good game today. He's knocked the ball on a couple. He's lost the ball twice, actually, in the opening 13 minutes here. First off the first ta first play of the game. And now, 13 minutes into the game, he's going to lose another knock-on here in a very nice attacking position. So, unfortunately, he was just thinking about what he was doing next. Um, they actually did have the play outside because the play came inside. I think that's Raymond Smith comes inside. It's had a very good defensive game, in my opinion. Um, but obviously, does drop the ball there, Albert Kelly. And uh, good night, Irene. The Broncos will uh, lose that attacking opportunity. And for them to win this game, they have to take these attacking opportunities. You know, they, they and I know that's simple to say, but... Early days, when it's nil-nil, this is when you have to do it. Like the Broncos, it's no good when you're down 40-nil with 10 minutes to go to score two tries and make it 40-12. to um, You know, I'm a Titans fan. I did, we did that against the Panthers. But in the same sense, a bit different. That was with a send-off. But overall, it doesn't matter because you still lose the game. Um, and that's, you know, the Brisbane Broncos, that kind of team, that and then they start to feel positive about themselves because they, you know, they've at least kind of had a couple of tries late on. It's like, uh, uh, realistically, it doesn't mean shit unless you do it now. Um, if they scored then, they would have actually been a, a dead set chance at kind of pulling away a little bit if they could keep going with their completed sets. Like, they have been pretty good besides those two knock-ons. They've been pretty good with holding on to the ball. Come on, says, did you follow Kaz Boston and now uh, Nets Noah? Yeah, probably. So, fourth tackle here for the Storm. Right-hand side here, Jerome Hughes. Step inside, 30 metres out here in the Brisbane Broncos line. And then a good little, um, no, nice little 50 metres here. Nico Hines here. He's going to keep this one down into the corner. It's going to sit and it's going to go out. It's going to, oh, it's going to sit up. Oh, ooh, 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 no Storm play. Got that quick enough. So, it'll be a seven-tackle set here for the Brisbane Broncos. Uh, Alan Davis says, great to see John Cartwright working for Bronx. Um... Yeah, John Cartwright, ex-coach uh, of the Titans. Albert Kelly, ex-player for the Titans. Uh, David Mead, ex-player for the Titans. Um, who else are we going? Who else are we going? I'm pretty certain there's another one too. I can't think of his name right now. I'm looking across the team. There's definitely another one. Uh, let's go Broncos here, 30 metres out here from their own line. Second tackle here for the boys. And for Legler taken down here, 40 metres out. Uh, Emmy says this can be 40 to nil. Brother, 16 minutes in, that's a ballsy call. 16 minutes in, ballsy call, considering how pretty average the Storm have looked. Um, and Broncos have probably looked better-ish. Uh, I don't know if I can say better, but they've looked more competent with, with the ball. Third tackle here with the Redson Broncos. Milford gets it off to the paint. So you pain half. So he gets taken down about five minutes later. Uh, Alan Davis says, Kim Broncos went the eight. Well, uh, bro, I know you're trolling. So like, uh, there's no point in responding to you. Um, fourth tackle here, Flegler. Oh, gets the offload away to Albert Kelly, who lost the ball for a third time in this game. Albert Kelly's having a shocker, bro. Albert Kelly's having a shocker. Why are the Storm not getting the ball there at the 25 metres? Why the Storm not getting the ball at 25 metres? They just lost about 15 metres off that. That's going to be Johns here with the ball. Johns going to step inside here. Johns going to step inside here. It's going to be 30 metres out from his own line. Um, oh, Dale Copley as well. Ahmad El Kurdi. Thank you very much. Um, Chaz, this is shocking. This game is horrific right now. I've been saying for weeks, the Broncos know how to bring you down to their shitness and then out shitness you. And right now, they're kind of doing that, but without out shitnessing you because they haven't scored yet with all their attacking opportunities. Nelson and Salomon. It's been strong in this game. Hasn't made a great deal of meters, but he's been strong. Uh, Meg Keppel says, how good is the Titans Indigenous jersey, though? It looks good. I think all the Indigenous jerseys look fantastic. Thank you very much, Bobby123, for subscribing. Appreciate you, lad. So third tackle here, 40 minutes out here for the Brisbane Broncos line. We're on 44 likes, guys. Come on, we've got 100 people here. We can get 50, uh, 50 right now. Hit six more thumbs up. Appreciate you. So four tackle here for the Storm. And don't forget, obviously, subscribe. When we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away another NRL jersey, one of you guys. But Nico Hines here steps on the inside. 20 metres out. Still going. He gets the offload away. It's going to be Brandon Smith. Brandon Smith here. Step, step, step. Still going here. Still going here. Brandon Smith. He's going to score a try underneath the post. Brandon Smith's going to score a try underneath the post. 4 nil, 6 nil, buddy. Wow. This is the strangest game in history. This is the strangest game in history. This doesn't make any sense, this game. Like, this makes sense. These points for the Melbourne Storm make sense. But, like, the Broncos have good defense, and then they have shit defense. Then they have good defense, then they have shit defense. Thank you very much, MD Rajon, for subscribing, but uh, I don't get it. And then Storm have good attack, and then bad attack, and then good attack, and then bad attack. It's not like a consistent, like, they're both doing okay. They're both doing shit, and they're both doing good at the same time. It's really, really strange. Like, we've seen three knock-ons for the Risen Broncos. Um... We've seen Storm just dropping the ball uh, and lose, putting it onto the ground. This is really strange. But it'll be 4-0 here to the Melbourne Storm with the kids to come from right in front. Um, so the Melbourne Storm will take that one, considering how average they've looked. Uh, Lord Zagreus says, I'm glad Jack Bellon is back for St. George after lady abuse. Um, look, we're not going to talk about a legal issue. Um, I don't want to get involved. Obviously, 
we just see what the media says. Uh, so I don't want to say anything positive or negative. Um, if he's playing in the game, then fair enough, man. Cool. Uh, he's just another guy coming back in and, and having a crack. Um, that's all I'm going to say on that, man. I, I, I really don't have any intentions on talking about a legality issue, just like when we talk about Jared Hayne. We don't want to talk about anything of those kind of notes. Uh, but 19 minutes gone here, guys. It is 4-0 to the Melbourne Storm. Nico Hines from right in front. Uh, can he slap this little bad boy right through? Yes, he damn well can. Of course he can. Brock Lewis says this is a dodgy game to watch, and that is not a dodgy kick, though. It is a 6-0 here to the Melbourne Storm. 19 minutes gone here in the game. Um, I think the Brisbane Broncos would be very disappointed right now. I think the Broncos would be very disappointed. I thought they were pretty pr- relatively decent for their normal standards for the opening 20 minutes. Um, you know, they were the team on top, uh, but didn't score. And the Melbourne Storm just scored one of the most scuffed tries you're ever going to see. Brand Smith just literally runs. There's nothing there. Runs. There's nothing there. And then runs again and, and gets a try. You shouldn't even get a second opportunity there, uh, let alone a third opportunity. But he finds the opportunity and, and puts it away. So 6-0 here to the Melbourne Storm. Uh, Ted Tyler says, Blaze, what's the best look at match this week? Um, I honestly think War- Cowboys Warriors could be interesting, not in regards of, exo- like, care factor. Um, Rabbitohs yields, obviously, on paper, but I don't think so. I think I think that's a pretty of a bland game for a two top four teams, but I think the Rabbitohs do win that. Um, there's not a great deal of exciting games this week, in my personal opinion. I guess if you're going to go look at close games, you'd look at Cowboys Warriors, You'd look at Tigers, Dragons, Titans, Sharks. Um, there's definitely close games uh, everywhere this round. Second tackle here for the Melbourne Storm. Uh, Rabbitohs heels will be close still. Uh, Jerome Hughes, right-hand side here for Lise Kafusi. Good run here. The problem with the Broncos in this game is that they are giving up a lot of meters. They're giving up a lot of meters in this game. That's the problem. Um, right-hand side here inside the attack and half. Big one has his camera is being mentioned as a venue for Saturday morning game one. Yeah, probably won't happen though. Um, but that's going to be, a, a, unfortunately, Brand Smith's going to lose this ball here and the Broncos will get the ball here basically at the halfway line. Uh, Jet tells us who are Manly playing. Manly are playing the Newcastle Knights on Sunday. Um, I think it's a more of an interesting clash than you imagine. But then again, I've, I've watched the Knights for a long time now, as in like this year, every game. Right, and they look horrific. Oh, jeez. He's just unfortunately run into his face there. That's nothing to do with a high tackle or anything like that. It's just a bad collision. Um, and Brandon Smith will lose that ball there. Oh, jeez. Don't call this. They're going to call this. You know what? They're probably going to call this shit. You know, if they call this, this is all, this is outrageous. This is just an awkward, awkward situation here. So, HIA here for Brandon Smith. Um, Cam Abbott says Raiders and us should be a good game too. Disagree. Disagree. Um, the Raiders have been terrible this year and obviously right now their dressing shed is just ridiculous. Um, I think the Roosters should kill them. If the Roosters don't kill them, then I'd wipe them out from a pre- potential premiership and I don't have them as a pre- premiership threat but in the same sense, if you're going to, um, if you're going to assume that they could be in the running, I would wipe them out as a premiership threat if they lose this game to the Raiders. There is no excuses here for the Roosters. None at all. Obviously, yes, they've got players injured, but we know those players are injured. We know what this team is going to be providing. Uh, we know the players that are coming out here. Uh, the Raiders have been absolutely horrific all year, even with all their good players. They've just lost Georgie Williams as well, obviously. Um, and all the players liked his tweet and supported him over the club. So obviously that club is an absolute mess right now. And any club who loses them from this point on in the season, unless something gets sorted out, um, is just is in just as much of a schmozzle. So right-hand side here, Xavier Coates. Ooh, nice little run there. 25 minutes out here. Very nice run there. Thank you very much, Magpies Forever, for subscribing. Appreciate you. So second tackle here for the Brisbane Broncos. They're 15 minutes out. Moments says Panthers to pull off the upset this week. Um, yeah, you're probably right there, mate. Panthers do probably pull off the upset. Second tackle here for the Brisbane Broncos. 20 metres out. Gets not the pain, Haas. Um, that wasn't pain, Haas. I'm drunk. Third tackle here for the Brisbane Broncos. They're 15 metres out. It's going to be uh, Turpin to pain, Haas, who gets it off to Kelly. Kelly gets it off to Tevita Punga Jr., who loses the ball. My God. Knock on after knock on after knock on. But the Storm here. Chance here if they uh, can break, find a gap. But no, there'll be a fourth knock on in 20 minutes for the Brisbane Broncos. This is shocking. Albert Kelly with like, oh, that could be could be five. I'm just looking at Albert Kelly. That's a high tackle there and a penalty to Melbourne Storm. Broncos losing their control right now. Broncos losing their control. Um, Come says, but yes, I agree we should be winning. I don't know about comfortably though. You should be winning comfortably. With what's going on at that club, there is no, um, the players don't like the coach at Canberra. They do not want to play for the coach. They want him gone. It's pretty obvious to see. The Raiders are an absolute mess. Um, and I don't even think it's just down to the coach. I think it's the entire organization right now. And it's been kind of trekking this way for a few years. Ever, well, 
I guess ever since the 2019 Grand Final. Um, unfortunately, they've been regressing. Uh, by the way, guys, one like away for 50. We can do it. Hit that thumbs up button. Gee whiz. We're one like away for 50. We can smash that right down well now. Um, and also subscribe if you are new around here. There's 19 minutes to go here. The first half, Jerome Hughes, right hand side of Nico Hines. Nico Hines here gets the ball out to the wing. And it's going to be uh, Jennings here taken down. 30 minutes out. No, he's still going here. Now he's taking down 30 minutes out. Um, this club and the Raiders have been trekking downwards since that grand final. And, and that's why I said their window closed when that, that call was made. Um, which is unfortunate, but yeah, they've got to do a whole rebuild, in my personal opinion. Storm here underneath, five metres out here, four tackle. they got the players, but the players don't want the coach, and it's, it's just no guarantee right now. Storm, one metre out. There's no guarantee that the, the, the players can... I don't know. We'll see if they can come together on a new coach. Right-hand side here for the Melbourne Storm. It's going to be Jerome Hughes, kicks it through, and it's going to be nice little take there by Albert Kelly. Uh, nice little take by Albert Kelly. Mevita says Panthers uh, will beat this storm, this storm team. Absolutely. Absolutely. But the Panthers have looked like this throughout the season too. They've won their games, but they've also looked like this throughout the season. Maybe not as weirdly average as this. Um, but don't forget, the Melbourne Storm were losing 6-0 after 30 minutes against the Brisbane Broncos in the earlier matchup at Melbourne. Uh, obviously, they won that game 40-6, to but that's the point. You know, they will they will find another notch. Um, there is no Puppenhausen here. Uh, you know, they have Brandon Smith now off as well, mind you, but uh, it, it, there's no Harry Grant. Um, there, there is excuses here for Melbourne Storm, but you still shouldn't be losing to the Brisbane Broncos at any stage if you're a premiership contending team. Albert Kelly here with a really strange kick. It will go and hit the grass straight away, but it will be Josh Adokar bringing his ball back here. Interesting kick. I don't think that was that great, but Adokar will get past the 40 meter line. Cam Mavita says, unpopular opinion, a full Storm team beats a full Panthers team, which is why I think they're going back to back. I believe that in regards to the finals. I believe in regards to the regular season. I think the Panthers win. Uh, they did, and I think they win it again in the regular season. And I think if they meet in the grand final, I actually think the Storm have the heads up over them, especially in finals. Um, I think that the Panthers are the same way as the Eels. I think the Eels could beat them in the regular season, but I don't have the Eels beating the Panthers in the, in the finals. Jerome Hughes here, third tackle. They're going to kick this through on early, very early on third tackle here. It's going to be a good chase, and Jermaine Asako is going to get taken down for a dropout. It's going to be a dropout here for the Melbourne Storm for the Brisbane Broncos. But it's been Broncos. Jet Towers is Blaze on the official NRL app. The Bulldogs have $21 on them to lose. Uh, they're $21 to win, mate. Um, and uh, that is still very, very too too short for me, man. That's that's still too short for me, my dude. <laughs> that's just way too short. I, I'd, I'd be 1 in 50 to 1, to be honest with you. Uh, Karen Mavis says the Eels looked dreadful against Manly last week. Um, they did, and they did against the Dragons too, but in the same sense, they could come out against the Rabbitohs and, and do what they always do and, and, and look really bad one week and then look really good the next week. Um, I don't know how much it'll prove though against the Rabbitohs because a lot of people have their reservations now about South Sydney. Uh, people don't believe in them as much because of their double 50-point losses um, to the big teams like the Panthers and Melbourne Storm. Uh, but in the same sense, I still have... I, think, as I find it crazy that you can lose by 50 one week and then play a top four team the next week. Nico Hines throws the ball behind and Josh Adekar here with the ball, third, second tackle here. I find it crazy that you can lose by 50 one week to a top four team, play a top four team the next week and be favorites. And South Sydney Rabbitohs are favorites for that game. So third tackle here with the Melbourne Storm. They're 15 metres out here from the line. Obi Tobi says Broncos or Storm. Storm went easy, mate. Third tackle here. Left-hand side. Nico Hines with the ball. Goes himself. Five metres short here. Still going here, Nico Hines. Why are they not tackling him down? Fourth tackle here for the Melbourne Storm. Five metres short here. Right-hand side they come. Gets off to Johns. Johns here to Jerome Hughes. Jerome Hughes underneath to Finnegan. Oh, my God. How did Finnegan hold on to that ball? So fifth tackle here for the Melbourne Storm. They're 10 metres out here. Right-hand side they go. Jerome Hughes. Jerome Hughes has plenty of time. Puts the ball up in the air. And that's going to be an easy take. That's a terrible kick there from Jerome Hughes. Jerome Hughes has been pretty average in this game, in my opinion. Um, oh, pass the ball to Albert Kelly running through. Pass the ball to Albert Kelly running through there. Gee whiz. Um, William Hunt says this pitch looks terrible. Yeah, you, it does. It does. I know you said you look terrible. Um, it, yeah, I think because you said Howdy Blaze and I was about to say hello to you or something like that, but um, no, the pitch does look terrible. Uh, Karen Mavis says, I'm just scared that Manly could possibly overtake us. Um, I think give it a little bit more time, mate. I think that Manly are obviously in a bit of form, but they will come down back to earth at one stage. Um, it, it is a long season to come, man. There's a, there's a long, long, long season to come. Uh, and 
you know, firstly, there's no guarantees with Trebojevic. If you take him out of that club, man, I tell you what, bro, they are they are a mess of a team. Fifth tackle here for the Broncos. They're 15 minutes out here. People forget that. People do forget that. And secondly, like this, this is a red hot bit of form. They will lose a game at some stage, bro. They shouldn't. Oh, good kick there, actually. Um, and it's gonna be. Oh, I think that's who's that's knock on off. Jo- knock on from Josh Adekar. Yep. So will be a knock on from Melbourne Storm. I agree. I agree. Uh, Bill Schwiss is Manly Grand Final Smoke. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, people literally four weeks ago were saying Manly wouldn't spoon. And now we've got a comment saying Manly Grand Final Smokies. And I'm not having to go at you, Bill Stewart, but I'm just replying and saying, like, you know, it's just, it's a little bit ridiculous. Um, people are very impulsive with their thought process. And that's why when Manly were down the bottom of the table, I kept saying it to you guys, and I don't know if you guys remember this, but you can go and look at the video. I literally said, this team will come good at some point. Trebojevic will come back. I didn't necessarily believe they were a top eight team necessarily, uh, but they had the ability to be a top eight team with that team. Um, I kept saying, just wait them out. They'll find a way. Even if Trebojevic didn't come back, they'd still find a way because they've got a good team even outside of Trebojevic. Um, but people kept impossible saying they're going to get the wooden spoon, and obviously they're not. Um, but then you obviously you go and have a look now, and it's like, People are now arguing that there could be a grand final smoking or a premiership smoking. It's just like, relax. You know, four weeks ago, you were saying wooden spoon. Um, it's, it's, it's just too in the now for me. Um, and I think that you've really got to wait out, man. Because like, who have they beaten? Besides the Yields, who obviously are a decent team, but they have their exposures. Um, I want to see them consistently do it. And I've been saying for weeks, I want to see them against a good team. And they did against the Yields. So fair play to them. But... Um, and they looked very good. They did look very good. Oh, that's going to be a knock-on there from... No, that's going to be a knock-on from the Broncos. Hello? How is that a, knock, not, a knock-on from the Storm, not the Broncos? That's a knock-on for the Broncos, absolutely. Um, so, Broncos here, left-hand side, five minutes out. People just like to really read the moment and forget that there's a whole season to go still. First tackle here, Kelly. And there's also a thing called form. Form does fall apart. Form does come back. You'll see how it goes, if you don't already know. Second tackle here with the Resident Broncos, and that's going to be a terrible pass there from Turpin. Um, to Pango, and Pango will get tackled third tackle here, three minutes out here from the Melbourne Storm line. Uh, Turbin gets the ball out to Albert Kelly. Albert Kelly here looking for uh, the big man, Hetherington, and he's going to get... Uh, oh, they're going to get taken down here, the Brisbane Broncos, about five minutes out here. Fourth tackle here for the Brisbane Broncos. Right-hand side they come. Turbin gets it off to Milford. Milford here looks underneath. It's going to be a knock-on against somebody. No, knock-on against nobody. Knocked back from the Brisbane Broncos. Jermaine Sarko taken down here, 10 minutes out. Lost ball there. He lost the ball there. Uh, that's not a penalty. That's not a penalty. It's a knock-on from Jermaine. Okay, it's a knock-on from Jermaine. Okay, fair call there. So the Melbourne Storm will get the ball. He turned me out from the own line. Mustard Cat says, do you think Storm have the best chance so far at beating Penrith in round 20 at Amy Park? No, I believe the Eels, the way they play, could take down Penrith. Um, but I don't believe they beat them in the finals, no. I don't believe that uh, the Eels beat the Panthers in the finals, no. I believe the Eels can beat the Panthers in the regular season, though. Um, they're a very grindy team. They're a very slow to pace down team. The Panthers need a relatively decent pace to win. They need a, well, they can adjust, but the Panthers are a team that do enjoy that pace. Um, and, and the Eels are a grind and slow down team. Now, people, obviously, like I'm saying, are impulsive. They look at last week's game and think, oh, the Eels are done. The Eels aren't that good. Um, they're good, but there is a lot of issues with their team. I can't believe I'm defending Parramatta here. Uh, there's a lot of issues with their team. Um so, yeah, look, I just think that the Eels are the best chance with their play style. Second tackle with the Melbourne Storm, 25 minutes out from their own line. Uh, Bill Schwartz says, this game is so slow, but kind of intense for some reason. Um, I guess when the Broncos have the ball, they're intense. Jerome Hughes here, right-hand side, chance here the Melbourne Storm, chance here the Melbourne Storm. Remus Smith taking out 45 minutes out. The Storm making a heap of maters, but they just can't score. You know, they just can't score. Third tackle here with the Melbourne Storm. It's going to be Jennings here with the ball. who steps around, steps around, and does nothing there, but, and then loses meters. Don't step around like an idiot, bro. Otherwise, you will get taken to back 10 meters for being an idiot. Fourth tackle here. Melbourne Storm. Gummy, gummy. Uh, gets it off to Johns. Johns and Nico Hines. Nico Hines here. Tackled down nicely. Easy, easy tackle. Nico Hines has been average in this game. I was expecting him to have a big game. Um, unfortunately, he's not living up to the uh, hype in this one, unfortunately. Um, but it's not all on him, but I just would have felt that he could have really exposed this Broncos defense, but the Storm have been very average tonight, and so are the Broncos. Uh, Chad says, Eagles won't win finals even though I support them, but teams like Panthers and Storm are just too good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I still personally, oh, there's a knockout here. I still personally believe the Rabbitohs can beat Manly. Um, I think Manly are probably fourth for me right now. I think Manly are probably fourth for me right now, personally, anyway. Um... I, th- I thought, well, that's a high tackle. Oh, that's a face-to-face head clash. Jeez. Jeez. 
Uh, but what are we on lights wise right now? We are on 59. We can get one more light to hit 60. Let's get to 70 before the halftime siren sounds. Um, and obviously, subscribe if you are new around here, guys. Bang that subscribe button because we are so close to 10,000. It's actually ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. Uh, Joshua Mitchley says, what do you think of Radley's suspension? Um, look, I think it's ridiculous, but it is part of the game, man, and there's no point getting sucked into it. But Tom Eisenhuth will get to... Well, unfortunately, probably lose a tooth here. Thank you much, JJ Lewanetuva, for subscribing. Uh, Hamish Inglis says, who do you reckon will win this game? Who do I reckon will win this this game? Butter. Butter. Hello. Hello. Look into the eye and you ask me that question again. Look into that eye and you ask me that question again. Uh, Bushwell says that beer was like an airbag. Mate, they gave each other a bit of a kiss, all right? Valentine's Day might have already passed, but, you know, Valentine's Day is every, is, is every day for couples. And, you know, they're just having a good time on the field, man. Third tackle here with the Resident Broncos. They're 25 minutes out. Oh, wow, that was bad defense. Milford here throws the ball back. Josh had a car. It's going to be lost ball backwards here. I don't know what's going on here. Thank you very much to uh, Sean Hall for subscribing. But um, what is happening in this game? This The passing in this game is terrible from both teams. Uh, Broncos got slapped down here 20 minutes out. I don't know what's... <laughs> Hamish English says, who do you reckon win this game? What you... Bloody Melbourne Storm, mate. Are you drunk or what? Shame whiz. Stop, stop drinking. Don't stop drinking, but stop drinking. Shit, man. Bloody who will win this game? Melbourne Storm here with the ball 40 minutes. How dare you disrespect me with such a stupid question. Um, but uh, no, Melbourne Storm here at the halfway point. Here they go. Uh, Jay Robertson says, Broncos are becoming a pain in the house of the Storm. Uh, not really. They're, like, they're not really doing anything with their opportunities. So I don't believe the Melbourne Storm, and I think the Melbourne Storm probably score off a set like this, you know, after a really stupid mistake by the Brisbane Broncos that could have ended up in a try, like they have been in this game a lot. Um, they're, they're, they're finding a way to score it up for themselves, the Brisbane Broncos. The Melbourne Storm get the offload away. What's the bet they score in this set, like I just said? What is the bet? What is the bet they score in this set, like they just, like I just said? 15 minutes out here, four tackle. Melbourne Storm with the ball. Melbourne says Bulldogs should go all in for Josh Hodgson. Um, Bulldogs, I don't even know who they should go in for. Their team is just a rabble. Uh, oh, Nego Hines with the ball. Gets the ball out to the wing. It's going to be Jennings. Jennings. Ooh, five minutes out. He's still, still going here. Jennings still going here. Get the offload away. Gets it off to Jerome Hughes. Jerome Hughes, why are you going back into the, the, the fire? Gets the ball out to the left-hand side for Lise Kafusi. Kafusi here is still going. Arguably high tackle. Won't be caught a high tackle, though. Um, and that's going to be 10 minutes out. I don't know. What are the Storm doing? Jerome Hughes has been terrible tonight, in my opinion. I think Jerome Hughes has been terrible. John's here with the ball. John's here, kicks it through, play that, and it's going to be a try for Tui Kamen Kamitha. That's going to be a try for Tui Kamen Kamitha. What did I say? What did I say? After the Brisbane Broncos make a mistake, that deserves probably something more from this entire game so far. After the Brisbane Broncos make a mistake, at the halfway line, I said they're going to score here, the moment Storm. Um, and Tui Kamen Kamitha is going to score a try for the moment Storm, basically right next to the post. So, 10-0 here with a hit to come, and what is what is this? Like what what is this? And unfortunately, it's going to be Milford's going to get the blame here for this for this game. Milford is going to be this game good again because he puts his foot out here to try and block it. It it gets blocked, but it goes straight to Tui Kamen Kamitha, the big Dosoviti baby, Dosoviti Fijian. Ooh, and now we're talking. Greasy Gamer says, I only just started watching. What's the game been like? Absolutely shithousely strange. Um, lots of knock-ons, lots of strange moments. Um. Storm haven't looked good, and yet are up 10-0 here with a kick to come, which will make it 12-0. Uh, and the Broncos have had probably more ball, but done nothing with it. It's really weird. Uh, but yeah, Cooper Johns, nice little kick there. Nice little kick there, but it does get deflected, so you can't... Like, you look, I think it was a good kick anyway. I think Jermaine and Saka was probably getting to it, but it would have been a repeat set, but two we came and Kamitha will be happy with that one. Uh, Big Boy has says, if Hodgson scripts the dogs, you'll become the Canterbury Raiders. Um... Don't you have Corey Harrow where now? So six and a half minutes to go here. Six and a half minutes to go here. The first half, it's 10-0 to the Melbourne Storm. Um, Master Cat says, any try against the Bronx is good. Exactly right, mate. You're spot on there. But Nico Hines will, ooh, he'll just slot that through. My God, that was the snaky one. Uh, and the, the, the ball boy can't even catch the uh, catch the kick and tee there. So we'll be 12 and he'll hear to the Melbourne Storm. And I don't believe anyone is surprised here. I know I'm not. Um, I'm actually surprised, actually. I will disagree with myself. I will disagree with myself um, that they're only up by 12 and he'll. But in regards to the game, I'm surprised they're up. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, mate. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, 
but what do you, what, what, what do you reckon? Storm going to run away with this one? Or do you reckon they just grind it out like they have been and just score against the <laughs> run of play, I believe? Jet Taylor says, is there a team other than the Storm that you nearly always back when they're at home? Um, uh, not really, mate. Not really. Manly used to be very good at Brookvale, um, but not anymore, really. Titans have a very good record against them at Brookvale. Uh, um, I guess Panthers, but you back Panthers anyway, to be honest with you. <laughs> so right inside here, Finnegan's going to get inside the... Uh, oh, 45 minutes out from his own line. Brockalow Weeb says, even though Storm are up by 12, this is probably the worst game they've had. Um, oh, I don't know. We saw that game. Oh, here we go. Storm on the right side. We did see that game against the, the Broncos earlier on the season where um, they were down 16 on 30 minutes. So they're actually... They're actually doing better. Well, they scored four tries in a 10-minute span. They're through Papa Uh But for two week come in, me, uh, 40 minutes out, they were terrible in that 30 minutes. That was that was horrific. Uh, Jimmy C says, I tipped the Broncos by accident. Well, that is an absolute accident, mate, because you were in for a situation and a half. Storm here with a chance. going to be a good catch, actually, by the Broncos. Josh and Akar didn't even try and catch that. Um... Cameron says, aren't the Storm good anywhere, not just at home? Yeah, oh, it's a knock on for the Broncos. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. Why are the commentators blaming Milford for that? Like, why are you saying... Why are you saying that's a Milford pass? Why is that on Milford there? Oh, no, that is on Milford. That is on Milford. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Sorry, that's me. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. I made a mistake there. Um, that is absolutely on Milford. Milford's had a terrible game. Milford has had a terrible game. Uh, Bill Schwartz says the Bronx are going to start imploding. Uh, start? So four and a half minutes to go here. The halves have been terrible. Albert Kelly and Mil- Anthony Milford have been shocking. Uh, Bill Schwartz says the Bronx... That's right. Uh, Bronx like we said, it's raining knock-ons. Um, yeah, it is It is raining knock-ons with no rain. It's just shocking right now. So Storm here, right inside. Nico Hines gets the ball. Do gummy gummy. Ooh, ooh. Do gummy gummy. Da to so viti. First tackle, leaving the Melbourne Storm. 20 minutes out. Left-hand side, they come. Jerome Hughes gets it off to Johns. Johns here to Nico Hines. Nico Hines out to Josh Adekar. Easy try. Josh Adekar. Say, easy try. Josh Adekar. Ba-dum, bum, bum. Easy try. Josh Adekar. Say, easy try. Josh Adekar. Ba-dum, bum, bum. I believe this is going to be called a try, but they're going to check this out, obviously, up in the video ref, in the bunker. Um, there's a potential instruction here, but I don't think so. William Hunt says that would try was Milford's fault <laughs> again. Fair enough. Okay, so Jerome Hughes, Johns, um, he's been tackled. No, nah, that's fine. That's that's fine. Now, Chris Lewis isn't doing anything wrong there. Uh, Hamish Inkler says, what team do you despise the most? Broncos. Parapro player says, what do you think is the best game of the round? Um, I, Titan Sharks is pretty good. Titan Sharks usually play pretty attacking games. They're always very close. Um, I'll go. I'll go Titans Sharks, and I know I'm a Titans fan, but in the same sense, um, I believe that's a close game. I believe that Titans Sharks always uh, are pretty um, exciting games, uh, and they're usually fifty-fifty as well. There's no guarantee um, of who's going to win, even if one team is a dollar ten favorite. Look back in 2016 um, when we drew 16-16 with the Sharks to um, prevent uh, them from continuing their uh, win streak. We drew with them. Zach Howe says, I don't know why Broncos play Milford so much. He's not even a first grader, in my opinion. Disagree. Um, but in the same sense, uh, he, he doesn't get played that much. He didn't play last week. He doesn't play week in, week out. Uh, Cameron says, surely Paris South is going to the round. I disagree. I just don't. I just don't don't, don't agree with you. Um, it's like, it's fine. It's, it's, it's cool and all. But like overall, it's it, they're not. It's not an exciting... Eels play a slow grind game. Rabbitohs play a high, pacey game. I just don't feel like that game's going to... It's, it's like the Raiders and, and Panthers. Everyone was hyped up for Raiders Panthers back early in the season at Penrith. It turned out to be a shitter. Now, the Raiders obviously are a shitter this year. Um, but the point of the matter is, is that not all those big teams playing each other turn out to be the good games. Uh, Dazmate says, Milford might need a new team. Uh, you reckon? I wouldn't be surprised if uh, he went to the Titans. But he's asking too much. He wants 600k per year. Like, hey, buddy, get off it, mate. You look shocking right now. You, buddy, you'd be lucky to get 600k for two seasons. So two and a half minutes to go here of the first half. Nico Hines from the wing, and he will miss that kick. He will miss that kick. So it will still stay at 16 nil here with two and a half minutes to go here of the first half. Now, guys, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already, and subscribe if you are new around here. Um, Chad says, Hamish, big house supports the Bulldogs. Bulldogs absolutely suck and would never support the Doggies with two minutes 22 to go here in the game of the first half, sorry. Um... 
Oh, what's my least favourite team? Hamish said. Uh, I'm a Titans fan, mate. I'm a Titans fan. So that means I hate the Broncos. You say? You say what they say? I say what they say. I'm a Titans fan, mate. That means I hate the Broncos. So with the last five minutes, the possession has been 88% to the Melbourne Storm. Wrong. Moulay. Thank you very much for subscribing. Appreciate you. Um, so we're two. Oh, out the full. Lovely Broncos. Well done, Broncos. Well done, Brisbane. You're bloody good. You're very good. You're very good. Jermaine Sarko, you're very good. So out in the full, that will be a uh, penalty of the Melbourne Storm on the halfway line. Corey Sixteen says, opinion on the Queensland um, on on Queensland this game one. Um, I will. Uh, I I'm going to take. I'm going to take New South Wales because they always do well away from Queensland, New South Wales. Uh, game two, I take Queensland and Suncorp. Game three, I probably take New South Wales. Chad says, Munster can do better. Dazmate says, classic 2021 Broncos. Classic 2020s Broncos. So, with a minute 40 to go here, the first half is 16-0 here to the Melbourne Storm. With 30 metres out here from the line. Right-hand side of the Melbourne Storm come. Johns. Johns to Jerome Hughes. Jerome Hughes to Nico Hines. Oh, Nico Hines away here. Nico Hines away. He gets the offload. What are you doing, Nico Hines? Brother, why is that knock on for the Storm? Why is that knock on for the Storm there? Hold on, but I don't understand why Nico Hines is throwing that ball. What are you doing? What are you talking about red hot here? Like, how is Nico Hines throwing this ball back here? Like, bro, get take the tackle on second tackle. Like, what are you doing, my man? What are you doing on any planet? I just don't understand how that's a knock-on from the Storm, though. Why was it a knock-on from the Storm, though? I don't understand how that's a, that's a knock-on from the Storm. How is this Broncos ball 10 minutes out? Um, Nico Hines throws that ball backwards, unless I'm mistaken. Um, just tell us this blazer. I just checked it out. The man, Manly play the Bunnies this season. Oh, that's interesting. So right-hand side here, Brisbane Broncos with the ball. I'm still confused how that was a knock-on against the Melbourne Storm, but okay, 37 seconds to go here of the first half. It's first tackle for the Brisbane team. Uh, Donald Bates says, never known so many first half landslides point-wise in the NRL. What the hell is happening? Um, this is surprisingly low considering what we probably imagined this scoreline to be, my man. Um, but you're right. Obviously, this year is just very difficult um, to watch because so many teams are either really, really shit or really, really good. Um, Milford, he gets the ball out to the right-hand side here and the Broncos here. What are you saying? What do you mean play on? Like, no shit play on. As if that was a tackle. Fourth tackle here with the Brisbane Broncos. Left-hand side, Turpin uh, with a very, very, very bad play. Well done, Broncos. That was literally despisable, that first half. Um, you wasted 40 minutes of my time throwing the ball to the ground, knocking the ball on through Albert Kelly, knocking the ball on through Anthony Milford, throwing bad passes from Anthony Milford, defense being good, then defense being shit, defense being okay, then defense being shitter. Um, that was a waste of my 40 minutes of my life, Brisbane Broncos, and you're down 16 nil to a Melbourne team who have looked pretty average, who have looked really, really, really average. Um yeah, that's all I will say there. But guys, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already, and subscribe if you are new around here. We're on 66 likes, four likes away from 70. And also, uh, like I said, buddy, let's get up to 10K. Let's get up to 10K, buddy. Whether it's this weekend or next weekend, we'll get there. So obviously, subscribe if you're new around here. Dazmate says, this is a good half-time score line for the Broncos, to be honest. Yeah, it is. They'll take it. They'll take it, but they've been shit house, And the Melbourne Storm have been shit house, But the Melbourne Storm... They, they just care about winning. Like, they don't care. Like, it's like the Broncos are the ones who are in the situation here. It's not the, it's not the Melbourne Storm. Um, Zeke on it for FBS. is not sure if I want to sub now. Well, man, uh, no, the truth hurts, brother. The, 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 the truth hurts. Penny Namua says, I think Milford will... I'm a tight stand, man. Buddy, I'll tell you when my team is shit out. Don't you worry. Uh, Penny Namua says, I think if Milford will improve his performance... Thank you very much, Gags, for subscribing. Um, I think if Milford will improve his performance coming out of Broncos, Titans will suit him. Um, I, I agree. I do, funnily enough, agree. I just think that 600k for a year for a guy who obviously is on the outer is just ridiculous. Um, I think if you're if you're Anthony Milford, and I spoke about this with my mate Adam, um, I speak about him quite a bit, Broncos fan. Um, you know, I think if you're Anthony Milford, you take what's on offer. You take the one year at 350 or 300 or whatever the Titans are offering you. Yeah, you're going to probably have to partner um, Jamal Fogarty, and I believe that it actually would work out, but. You shouldn't be off for asking for 600k. No one wants you, Milford. Like, no one wants Milford. No one. And if they do, then they're crazy. And the Titans are crazy. But I guess when you're the Titans, the harms aren't necessarily working out for the Gold Coast. So it's it's best to get someone on a short-term contract on, on, on pretty slim money. Um, give them a trial. If they could do well next year, then fantastic. 
you know, sign him up long term. But unfortunately, Milford um, is, is a little, being a little bit greedy, and I don't believe he's backing himself in as much as he probably should be. Uh, Pete Ferris says, I wonder if he will even score this game, not even the usual one try. Um, they've looked they've looked average. They've looked they've looked very, very, very average. Uh, but they started off well, but still looked average. Uh Cam Evans says Ash Taylor. Ash Taylor is off contract off contract at the end of this year. Um, I believe that he probably re-signs for a, a smaller contract if um, Anthony Milford obviously was to go, but I don't believe that the Gold Coast will make the, the decision to take Milford over Taylor. Um, I think that Taylor is, no matter what, probably going to be re-signed, but on a lot less money than he was on, a million dollars or whatever he was. Ridiculous. Um, the million dollar contract never even really made sense, but in the same sense, he was playing pretty well back in the day, but never a million dollars a season kind of worthy. Um, but I still think that Ash probably does get re-signed, uh, but it really will come down to whether Milford decides to not be a greedy piece of shit. You know, it is what it is. Uh, Jason Bullum, Jason Bullum says, Brown, my razor shit this year. Buddy Bingo. They are. We've spoken about this quite a lot. Um, why is he saying up the Titans, but just saying Bromo Rose is shit this year? Uh, <laughs> Pete Rose says, to be fair, you can't do much playing in the halves with this team. I don't know why he gets all the hate. Um, I, I would agree. He's had a horrible game today, though. Milford has been despicable today. Um, he's had a very, very bad game. And hopefully it brings him back down to earth. Like, you will not be re-signed by Brisbane Broncos. They have said they will not re-sign you, bro. So, uh, what do you do? What are you doing trying to put your price up massively uh, to clubs who are giving you a last-ditch hope? You know, go and play for that team, and if, if it doesn't work out for you with them, then go to another team because you played well the next year. Get a new, fresh, little bit of scenery. Um, it's not like you're. It's not. It's not like you're in poverty, mate. It's not like you're not earning enough money. You're currently on like what one point two mil or one mil a, a year at the Broncos, uh, which is stupid. Um, you know, you've got a lot in the bank. You get three hundred thousand, still pretty damn well good, mate. Thank you very much, Zekon Four, for subscribing. Um, three hundred K is still, you know, uh, two hundred fifty thousand dollars extra uh, than what majority of people in Australia earn uh, on a yearly basis. And and, and you're going to try and say, "Well, I want six hundred K for what? What have you done? You've done shit for five years. Like you've done nothing for five years. What on earth do you believe makes you worthy of six hundred K?" of watching what we're watching in this game. And we've watched it for the last five years straight. We've watched what this game has provided for the last five years straight. And you're going to sit there and you're going to say, I want $600,000 a year. Like, honestly, brother, get out my face and close the door. And if you don't close the door, I will close the door. I will literally get up and, and use my energy just to close the door in your face. That's how much. Get out my face. It's just stupid, man. So what actually says, he's on a million. Why do, you, why do people not blame him? That side I get to. Obviously, he's on a lot of money. Um, the, one of the, I think he's on the most money at the Brisbane Broncos, actually. So, fair enough. You can criticize him. Criticize him anyway. Criticize anybody if you want. Criticize him. Um, but I, I don't believe he should deserve as much hate as he gets um, on a week-to-week basis. I think that, yeah, look, we witnessed this and Broncos fans are sick of it, right? I think that he works at a new club. I don't know who, but if he goes to the Titans, I think that's a, it's a worthwhile venture for the Gold Coast, in my personal opinion. Uh, Corey McCartney says, I hate Storm um, because I'm a Penrith supporter and they probably think the same. Um, Penrith and Storm don't have a rivalry. They do not have a rivalry. Penrith and, I don't understand this. Penrith and Storm do not have a rivalry. Thank you very much, Aussie Greg, for subscribing. Oh, Penrith and the Melbourne Storm do not have a rivalry in the sense of what we normally see as a rivalry. Jason Bullam, subscribe. Appreciate you. Y- okay, y- you lost the grand final. Like, you- you're the two good teams. But in the same sense, like, Roosters and Storm are more of a rivalry than, than Penrith and... and-, and- the Storm. Um, I don't see Panthers and the Storm as a rivalry. Um, they're just two good teams right now competing. Um, it's just like the Roosters and the Storm. I never really thought the Roosters and the Storm as a rivalry. I still don't. Um, I just think that they were two good teams competing and now it's died off. Broncos and Storm were rivals for a different reason. Manly and Storm are rivals for a different reason. Sharks and Storm are rivals for a different reason. Um, you know, but I don't class the Panthers as, as a rival in that sense to the Melbourne, uh, to the, the Melbourne Storm. Um, Lawrence Dugman says, good night, bro. Good night, mate. Have a good one. Uh, Swag says, don't care about the Panthers. You lost your daddy. You're irrelevant. A lot of Storm fans would think like that. They just wouldn't. I know Storm fans would prefer, like, obviously on a comp- competitive level, the Storm fans would, would love to beat the Panthers. Um, but overall, I think Storm fans, in regards to how rivalries have been set up over the years, would much prefer a win over Manly or a win over the Sharks 
I personally feel like the Storm's biggest rivals right now are, are mainly the Sharks. I, I think that the Sharks obviously get beaten by them quite considerably all the time recently. Uh, but I still think there's that hatred. I still think there is that hatred there from that 2016 Grand Final. Um, and the way that the Sharks, I mean, they were very good over the years uh, with the Melbourne Storm. I think Manly is still their, their, their arch nemesis, though. And I think they always probably will be. Chris Harrison, subscribe to PK Sport. Now, guys, I appreciate you. Um, if you disagree with me, please let me know in the chat. Uh, if you're a Storm fan, disagree with me. I'm a Titans fan. I don't necessarily know what you guys think. But in the same sense, that's the vibe that I get. Uh, Brock Lyweb says, I like the Panthers and I'm a Storm fan. Exactly right. I don't think uh, I think Panthers and Eels are the rivals, but who's Panthers' rivals? Like, who do the, who do the Panthers have as a rival? Because no one cares. Like, if people like liked the Panthers until they were a bit, bit of a wank job this year. Um, but, like, I'm not too sure who's their actual rival rival. What, what is it, Parramatta? Because of the local? I don't know. It's an interesting question. Uh, Jamie Robertson says, Milf being dropped every second week has to be playing on his mind, so a new club will be the best thing for him. Absolutely. And it's the manager chasing the big money, Big Cow. I think Milf will be happy just playing. Disagree. Um, I've had a personal confrontation um, with Milf back in the day, which makes me disagree with you on that. Um, I believe it's a bit of a two-way street there. Um, you know, so I would I would disagree with that one. Uh, Chris Harrison says, no swearing. Um, well... Yeah, maybe sometimes. Uh, Bill Stewart says Melbourne's rival is anyone who is a contender. It seems to change every three or so years. Disagree. Melbourne's rivals, Manly, Sharks, and and this is not on a on a competitive level. Competitive level, everyone is. Manly, Sharks, and I don't think there's anybody else. Brisbane Broncos are kind of there because obviously back in the day. Uh, but I don't really think that's there. I, I think it's it's there enough, but it's not really. Um, but it was significant in the late 2000s. Late 2000s, Broncos and Melbourne hated each other because that was when the Broncos were very good and the Melbourne Storm were very good. 2006 happened. Um, to that, I, I was at the game in 2008, was it? 2007, 2008, when Greg Inglis scored on the siren at Suncorp. Um, that was pretty emotional there at Suncorp Stadium that day. I remember seeing a lot of... A lot of angry, angry Brisbane fans. That was the, I think, the preliminary final. I think that was the week before they went and played Manly and lost 40 to nil. I could be wrong. Let me know in the chat. Uh, let me know in the chat what you thought, uh, if, I, if I'm right there. Was that that game where Darren Lockie falls to his knees, Greg Inglis scores on the left-hand side on the siren to knock the Brisbane Broncos out in the preliminary final? Was that the game before the grand final or am I wrong? Um, I know Dog says, I know we're going to get a smack in the second half, but if we score, that's a win in my book. So this is Broncos fans for you. <laughs> this is Broncos fans. They're happy if they score. They're happy if they score. <laughs> like Jay Wiz. I get you, but like, come on, bye-bye. That's my says dogs were kind of around 2012 to 2016. They were, they, were, they were good. Dogs at 2012, you're not giving them credit for the 2000s, mate. They won in the 2000s. Um, they won in 2004, didn't they? Dogs. 2003 was the Tigers. 2004, no, sorry. 2003 was the, I can't remember, Roosters. Turn four was the dogs, Tigers were five, and Broncos were six. Are you sure? Uh, Jet Taylor says, I have a strong distaste towards the Melbourne Storm. Everyone does, mate. Everyone does. Uh, Dustman says, Rivalry with the Storm. A rivalry with the Storm. Oh, yeah, 2003 was the Panthers, that's right. Uh, rivalry with the Storm. Um, Not really. Not really. I guess because of that bite and Billy Slater shit, James Graham shit, I guess, but I never really saw it as, as an intense rivalry. Um, let's hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already, guys. At halftime, uh, we are currently at 16 0 to the Melbourne Storm. A uh, bit of a diabolical game in the same sense. It's a game nonetheless, and we're having a bit of fun on a nice little Thursday night. Bit of footy. Um, so, yeah, uh, thumbs up and subscribe. Melbourne says, Blaze, I'll become a millionaire on Saturday when the dogs beat the Panthers. Um, yeah, you only had to put two bucks on that to be a millionaire, so well done. Uh, thank you much, Fire Pig, for subscribing as well. Legend. Uh, Karen Mavita says, 2003 was the last time the Panthers won a premiership. Um, yeah, 11 years ago, I piped down Panthers fans. I know I say this every week, you know, when Panthers fans start talking shit. It's like, shut up. You haven't won shit in 18 years. It's like, cool, man. Like, celebrate your wins, but like, don't don't, don't wank on like Melbourne Storm or, or, or the Roosters. And they don't even do that. Like, I don't, I don't find that Roosters fans are... Like, they, they've got a big ego, but they're not like a wank job ego. Um, they can act like a wank job ego from time to time, but um, they're not as much as knobs as what some Panthers fans have been acting like in the last twenty, like last 24 hours, last year. Um, it's really strange that Panthers fans seem to automatically think that they've won something. Like, they've won a couple, like, what, 18 games in a row, regular season? Cool, man. Why don't you go and do it in the grand final? Like, you were down 24 nil at one stage. Like, shit, man. Um, Cameron says 11 years. I meant 18, yeah, 11 years, buddy. Gee whiz, Roosters fans. Math. Nah. Mevedev says, Pete Brown, not so much. We still have the Cows versus Bronx rivalry. 
Remember when Holmes kicked that field goal? Um, look, Cats Broncos will always be a rivalry. I don't know if it's that big right now, though. Um, I don't, I don't really know if it's that intense right now, though. Like, obviously, it'll always be there. People, Broncos fans will always be there. But I, I know a lot of Broncos fans who prefer beating us right now. I know a lot of Broncos fans who prefer beating Titans. Um, because, obviously, the Titans are the better team in Queensland right now. And, obviously, the Titans are always going to think... Broncos are always our biggest rivals. Because we're literally an hour down, uh, up the M1. Um, Titans are somewhat rivals with Warriors. I, uh, Titans and Warriors have a very weird, weird setup because obviously a lot of Kiwis live on the Gold Coast. Every time the K- uh, Warriors play the Gold Coast on the Gold Coast, it's literally all New Zealand. And I know people are going to say in the joke in the in the chat, saying a joke like, "Oh man, the, the Titans always get that number at home." No, they don't. I can tell you the teams that always outnumber us. Um, I can tell you the teams that 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 don't too. And Broncos are one of them. We outnumber them a great deal this year, which is really strange because it doesn't usually happen. Um, but Warriors always do, Dragons always do, Rabbitohs always do. Um, uh, eels always, oh eel, yeah, eel, eels do. Broncos usually do, not really though. Um, I'd say yeah, Rabbitohs definitely. Rabbitohs are the biggest crowd there. Rab- Rab- Warriors are the biggest crowd, but Rabbitohs are pretty close in behind. Um, the game is about to get underway here for the second half. Here, guys, here we go. Uh, the game is about to get underway for the second half. Jet Taylor says, "Blaze, what do you th- reckon is the most legendary grand final moment? Benji Marshall flick pass. We have we have to go with the Ben Hunt drop, mate. We have to go with the Ben Hunt drop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Broncos fans, but it's just a fact. You have to go with the Ben Hunt drop. Um, it's all well and good to say the Benji Marshall flick." Or the Gower tackle, uh, or, or, I don't know. You know, I, I have to go to Ben Hunt drop. Uh, Alan Davis, Thurston drop goal. No, no, it's the Ben Hunt drop, mate. Thurston's drop goal. I wouldn't even compare that even considerably, even remotely close. I wouldn't even have that in the same breath as the Benji Marshall flick pass, um, or or the Gower tackle. You know, I, I'm absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, um, taking Ben Hunt drop. Uh, Troy Brady says, G'day, bro. How's the game? Uh, shit house. It, it's, it, it is shit house. We always, we all knew it was going to be like this, though, bro. Like, we weren't, it's not a surprise. Um, it's been worse than you'd imagine, though. Um, not for the pumping reason that the Melbourne Storm th- flogging the Broncos, but just because the game's just been a dead set shock on one. Um, Fire Pigs, do you post every game even if it's not televised? Because I don't have KO. Yeah, man. Yeah, we do this every single game. Unless I'm at a game, which I vlog, and then I put the video onto YouTube, obviously, with my vlogs. Um, which we haven't done a great deal of this year. Uh, but I might be there at the Titans game on Sunday, which means I wouldn't be streaming the two games on Sunday. But we'll see how we go. Uh, but yes, we stream every game here uh, as much as we can. Second tackle here for the Melbourne Storm. 25 metres out here from their own line. Right-hand side they come. And it's going to be... Uh, look, I, I think the Melbourne Storm probably pull over this one and, and probably win by 50, um, crazily enough. Considering how average they've been, they probably still win this game by 50. Uh, Kermit Evans says, No, in my opinion, the best grand final moment was Munster getting bit, seen being two times against us. Nah, it's still Ben Hunt, mate. Oh, Benji Marshall, mate. Ben Hunt, then then Benji. Ben Hunt, then Benji. So 40 minutes out here, fit tackle, right-hand side. The Melbourne Storm comes. Jerome Hughes down into the corner. And easy take that by the Broncos. It's really strange there from Jermaine Asaka. He's going to be away here. Jermaine Asaka. Oh, still going here. 25 minutes out, taken down. Uh, Scenarios is Blake Austin for the win. Okay. Lawrence says, yes, bro, Milford is bad. He's not that great, mate. He's not that great. But that's a nice little run there from him just then. Nice little seven-meter play. Uh, Arman says Broncos would have legit. Broncos would have legit. What are they legit? What legit? What? Oh, uh, they would legit knock the ball on, and the Storm will score a try. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Oh man, so the game started off here, guys. In the first half, the game started off with the uh, Brisbane Broncos dropping the ball uh, through Albert Kelly on first tackle. Uh, they got to their third tackle and uh, they, they they lost the ball again. And this time, the Melbourne Storm will score off it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! 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 Thank you much, Rengan Eliza, for subscribing. Uh, you've subscribed at a moment that Broncos fans would not be enjoying. No! 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 So it's going to be twenty nil here with the kit to come, and we're literally a minute into the second half. Uh, this is why you have this. Like, this is this is why this this is why this sold sold like hotcakes. That's why. Um, Fire Pig says, "What's your thoughts on Milford, bro? Because I don't think he deserves a spot, but I don't know. Um, I think he needs a new club. I think he's a good player, but I think he needs a new club. I, I don't think he's a good player at the Broncos anymore. I think he hasn't been a good player for five years, but I think he could be a better player at another club, like the Titans or just somewhere else. Uh, but he's asking too much. 
Uh, Cameron says, can I ask how on earth we struggled against this team last week? You were refereed out of the game, but you also sucked. Uh, William Hunt says, um, ba -da -ba -ba -ba, that was Milford's fault again. He blinked twice in that play. It's always Milford's fault, mate. You're spot on. And Tony Raphael says, both teams are not playing well. And that's saying something, considering it's 20 nil to Melbourne Storm. You're absolutely right. Both teams have been playing shit house, but the Broncos, you know, you know, there's that new level of shit house. But Nico Hines here will kick it through. So 22 nil here with a kick to come. No, no kick to come, sorry. Why am I saying that? Because he just kicked the kick in front of me. Um, so 22 nil here to the Melbourne Storm with 37 minutes to go here. Boom, boom, boom. Um, Jetel says that face palm would be a good thumbnail. Yeah, well, it is a face palm. It is, it is a face palm and Broncos fans, mate, this is your life right now. This is this is your life. This is like that TV show. This is your life, Broncos fans. And Tony Raphael says, you can't say that they beat the Roosters last week. Um, Look, no, I can't say they beat the Roosters last week. But in the same sense, you've also got to remember is that, yes, they got refereed out of the game, the Roosters, but the Roosters, when they had the ball, looked terrible anyway. Um, the referee didn't, you know make bad calls for 80 minutes of that game. He made it for he made a good 10 bad calls, which is a significant portion of the game. Um, but in the same sense, you've got to remember that the, the Roosters just did not play well when they had it. Uh, they had their chance at the beginning of the game and, 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 and fluffed it, and then the Broncos were able to get a momentum going from the bad calls, right? So I, I just ignore the game. I, I don't look at the game as if, like, Broncos won or Roosters lost. I just look at the game like, okay, that was the result. Um because you can make an argument for, for both sides of it. Because you can make an argument for Roosters' loss, but you can also make an argument for Roosters, you know, got absolutely ripped. Um, but right-hand side here, Nico Hines. Oh, no. Oh, Broncos. Oh, Broncos. Oh, Broncos. Oh, Broncos. Oh, Broncos. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm having an aneurysm. I'm having an aneurysm. I'm having an aneurysm. I'm having an aneurysm. It's 26 nil Melbourne Storm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm having an aneurysm, lads. This is what this Brisbane Broncos team does to me. Cooper Johns will score a try and hit the post. Alan Davis is a hope regular to become a new team. They may they they will become a new team. Oh my god. Oh bro, Nico Hines just runs oh that defense from Albert Kelly and Payne Haas was horrific. Oh that pass is very nice. That's a very nice pass. Broncos fans, why are you complaining about four passes? It's never four passes. But this is just ridiculously good here. Look at that. That defense from the Broncos was literally spitworthy. That was spitworthy. Um, Lawrence says Milford should just go. Why Why was that one Milford's fault? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Why, why was that one Milford's fault? Why was that one Milford's fault? <laughs> why, why was that one Milford's fault, Lawrence? I get having a crack at Milford, but why was that? Why was that one Milford's fault? <laughs> so five minutes into the second half, you guys, it is twenty-six nil to the Melbourne Storm. Oh no, Nico Hines is is he's literally the Broncos could score here, and and Nico Hines would still be leading them eight eight to six. Jordan Cadigan says forward pass. Oh, why I forgot you're blind. Oh yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, let, well let's let's. <laughs> Four bars, brother. As you can see in the chat, literally you're the only one who said four bars. <laughs> no commentators talking about it. You're drunk, my man. But unfortunately, your team... Okay, let's take away the try. What's the score? Jordan, tell me in the chat. You take away the forward pass try then. Huh? The forward pass try and what's the score? What's the score, mate? What's the score? I want to ask you. I'm just asking a question, man. Shit, man. What's your, what's your problem? What's the score? Um, Antonio Raphael says, I did not see Adam Reynolds fixing this team next year. No, I don't either. Um, I think that they, it fixes them to a point where they're a competitive, they're competitive for the edge of the eight. Um, but they're not a competitive, competitive team. Um, they're not a team that I would be considering for top six or top four, um, or seven. I would be thinking around eight through 12. As simple as that. Their hook is not good. Their, their fullback's not good. They, he might not be there next year. Katoni Staggs isn't a 5 eight. You know, given the ball, cool. I get it. He's my favorite center in the game. Literally, Katoni Staggs is my number one center in the game, in my personal opinion. Has been out all year, yeah? Um, but also played last year when they came last. So don't forget that. Uh, you put him in the 5 eight. that's cool. There's no proof that he's good besides one game against Tonga. Uh, like, congratulations. Can we see a bit more than one game before we can say, oh, knock on there from the Mobile Storm here. And Pungo, I guess, the ball off the left-hand side. Farnworth, Farnworth, he's taking it out 40 minutes out. 
Uh, Chris Harrison says, sorry to say, but Titans do not defend enough. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be sorry, brother. Don't be sorry. I'll be the first person to agree with you and say the Titans are literally a bottom three defensive team, but they're also a top five attacking team. Um, they can score 40 points and lose 42-40. That is the Gold Coast Titans. So right-hand side here for the Brisbane Broncos. Jermaine Sarko gets it outside. Broncos here, second tackle, 20 metres out. Um, Jordan Cadigan says, Broncos winning 28-6 now. Um, on what planet are you on? Where'd they get the six? Take the six away from the storm that you were crying about. Like, where, where'd the Broncos get the six? They've looked a shocking on attack. Um, they haven't even looked... God, <laughs> shit, they could score here, to be fair to you. There you go, maybe. 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 No. No. Still going here. Maybe. 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 No. 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 Fourth tackle leave the Brisbane Broncos. They're eight minutes out here. Ah, <sighs> can they crack it on here? Left-hand side, gets it off to Pankai Jr. with a strange run. I uh, don't know, understand what's going on there. Why you get the ball there? Ooh, good offload, though. Very good offload there. Very good offload there. And Mead, why you not pass that ball? Fifth tackle here with the Brisbane Broncos. They're five minutes out here, right-hand side. Um, and should be try, should be try, should be try. The Brisbane Broncos will score a try, finally. There you go, 28-4. to four. And there you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, wow, he's bleeding like crazy, though. The Brisbane Broncos is going to score a try. Guys, that's a win. Brisbane Broncos won the game. Brisbane Broncos are basically the winners of this game now. They they scored a point. They scored points. It's crazy. It's crazy. Melbourne Storm is shit here. How are you doing this? It's all your fault. Broncos fans now think they're back into the top eight contention because of that try. Thank you, Melbourne Storm fans. Brisbane Broncos now think they're back into top eight contention because of that try. Look what you've done, Sport Reactions. Look what you've done, Melbourne Storm. Guarantee you. I'm going to look in the comments. Um, and off a license comeback's on. Bingo. Cam Avatar says he looks like he just fought in the octagon. Um, ooh, the knee to the face. That's why. <laughs> he's, he's happy he scored a try next minute. Knee to the face from his own player. Um, even so, he says that was shit defense. Yes and no. I think you can't really do too much about that. I think that overall, um, the Broncos threw the ball around nicely. There. They got the offload away and they pushed it into the middle. And there was a gap because all the Storm players had come out to defend on that right-hand side. Um, so, yeah, overall, I, I don't believe... Look, it's not the greatest defense. But in the same sense, they should have wrapped the ball up on the sideline. They didn't. There it is. That's that's the bad defense there. But um, the try itself there from finding that gap is always going to happen from, from all those Storm players getting over to defend that wing. Um, and Tony Raphael says his own teammate needed him in the head. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, Cam Everett says his face started to bleed from Mil was Milford's fault, in my opinion, because he blinked causing the knee into his face. Look, I personally believe that Milford breathed. He breathed. Which then pushed the knee a little bit to the left-hand side. Knee to the face. I'm just speaking facts, you lads. You know, you don't like it? You don't like it. But I'm just speaking facts. For Milford, you got to stop it, mate. Just stop it. So eight and a half minutes gone here in this first half. Uh, sorry, in this if it's first half, eight and a half minutes gone. Twenty-eight six is a problem. Um, eight and a half minutes gone here of the second half, and the Broncos still down twenty-eight to six here. Uh, Alan Davis says he got kneed in the head by teammate. You're exactly right. Uh, Catherine Housen says GG Broncos. Yeah, good game, mate. Yeah, they've, they've had a great game. Milford here, right hand side. If they come back here, this would be the greatest result in the history of sport. This would be better than twenty-eight to three New England Patriots against the buddy. Um, Atlanta Falcons. This would be better than Manchester City versus QPR in 2011-12. This would be better than Cowboys versus Broncos in 2015. This would be the greatest moment in sporting history. So, fifth tackle here for the Brisbane Broncos at the halfway point. Um, NRL for Life says, what games are you streaming this week, Blaze? Literally every game, like every week. Fifth tackle here for the Brisbane Broncos. They're 40 metres out. Um, and there's 30 minutes to go here of the game. So, guys, let's hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already, and subscribe if you're new around here. On our way to 10K, on our way to 10K subscribers, where I'm going to give one of you guys an NRL jersey just for literally being a subscriber. Just for literally being a subscriber, you'll win a net new NRL jersey, just like we gave away at 9,000, which was to a Knights fan. Um, so, Melbourne's not here with the ball, 20 minutes out here. Uh, Chris Harrison says, are you going to Titans versus Manly? Um, if it's at Seabus, yes. Actually, yes, because their, their away game, their home game was at Mudgee. So, yes, I will be going to um, Titans versus Manly. I've only missed one Titans home game this year, and that was against the Bulldogs. Um, and that was because I sprained my ankle. Third tackle here for the Melbourne Storm. Nico Hines now with the ball. He starts, steps out of the right-hand side. He steps out of the right-hand side again. Oh, that defense is just outrageous. It just is outrageous. It makes me angry. I'm not even a Broncos fan. Um, Archie Asila says, anyways, Bronx, all the very best. Watching from Goroka in Papua New Guinea. Got to get around the Papua New Guineans in the chat. Get around them. Get around Justin Olam. You should be getting around Justin Olam. Oh, no. Xavier Coates plays for the Broncos. Well, next year, Xavier Coates and Justin Olam playing the Melbourne Storm. There you go. 
but a bit of Papua New Guinea and fire there in the uh, Melbourne Storm wing. Um, Troy Brady says, I wonder if Penrith will get caught for salary cap. Why? Why? All their players um, were signed as kind of, not nobodies, but also, oh my God, Broncos. Oh, oh Broncos. Oh, 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 oh. Um, if are nowhere near this, uh, well, they'd be close to salary cap-ish, but in the same sense, I, I still think they'd have a space. They've signed all their players before they became incredibly successful big names. Um, Preston Hadfield says, is Storm playing bad or is Broncos playing good? Um, <laughs> I love that. I love that at 28... 28- <laughs> I love that comment. I love I love that comment, Preston Hadfield. The fact that you're asking is Storm playing bad or Broncos playing good while the Melbourne Storm lead twenty eight to six with twenty nine minutes to go in the game, that literally is the greatest comment that I've seen tonight. Uh, <laughs> so Nico Hines here with the ball, he'll come back forty minutes out here from his own line. That is unreal. Carol Mavis says, "Mate, the Roosters are over the cap. They always are. They actually are too." But we all know that the reason why they are is because realistically, third-party agreements is a massive, massive, exciting play by the old uh, Sydney Roosters. They love their third-party agreements. So right-hand side of the Melbourne Storm, third tackle here, 40 minutes out. Lawrence says, Cleary and Turbo Tom vibe for the Dally M. If, da- if, Tur- um, if, if Tavoyevich wins the Dally M, that's the, the, the biggest win of the Dally M in history. It's the best Dally M in history, in my opinion, from being out all those games and coming back and competing um, with the best to, to win the best. Um, absolutely. He will have the best Dally M win ever, in my opinion. Um, fifth tackle here for the Mount Storm. Right-hand side, Brandon Smith still got himself. Gets the ball out to the... Oh, Nico Hines. Nico Hines underneath the post too. Oh, that pass, and that brilliant stuff by Brandon Smith. That is unbelievable from Brandon Smith. That is unbelievable from Brandon Smith. That's unbelievable. That is an unbelievable pass there from Brand Smith. That's an unbelievable run from Brand Smith. And the Melbourne Storm will score a try underneath the post. Nico Hines. Boom. 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 Look at that from Brand Smith. Oh, my God. You just can't... Look, I'm not going to lie to you. The Broncos' defense there was poor. But in the same sense, you can't do much about that. I guess you just... I guess it just comes down to the fact that... I just don't understand having such a big hole. <laughs> I don't understand having such a big hole there. Like, what are the Broncos all doing on the right? So this is the problem, right? You look at the Storm try, the Broncos try at the other end. The Storm all came out to that, that wing and, and prevent, prevented the try, but then obviously they got the offload away. I don't understand how the Broncos have an excuse being all on the right-hand side there. Look, there was one play down the left-hand side that he made a gap through and then Brand Smith broke away. I don't get why the, all the Broncos players were down the right edge there. It just doesn't make any sense. But 32 6 is the score here. It's going to be 34 6 and um, I'm, I'm confused. Jim Jones says Broncos need to get relegated to reserve grade. Mate, Broncos need to get relegated to not playing on national television every single week because this is why they get embarrassed. This is why people look at them and think, what's going on? Because uh, <laughs> this, we get to see this every single... Well, I watch every game, but in the same sense, majority of you... Well, maybe not a majority of you. A lot of you guys are regulars on the channel and watch every game, but um, majority of the viewers of the NRL only watch their team um, or only watch the Thursday and Friday night games. So even Sunday games in the afternoon don't get watched by a great deal compared... Uh, Alan Davis says Broncos need to get relegated to under tens. I may I still think they'd struggle, but but Nico Hines will go boom boom. What's your memory? Bing bing, bang bang, boom. So it is thirty four to six here to the Melbourne Storm. Twenty six and a half minutes to go here of the game. They're going to hit fifty. They could hit sixty. They could potentially hit seventy at this rate. So let's hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. What are we on right now? We're near hundred. We are on eighty likes. Let's get twenty more thumbs up to hit a hundred right damn well now. <clears throat> Let's get there. Don't forget, guys, we're going to be streaming both games tomorrow um, and pretty much every single game this week, so get around it. But let's get up to 100. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to stream tomorrow's games unless you hit 100 likes. You know what? Tell you that one. Tell you that one. So, Melbourne Storm are in second right now. Uh, they're still two points behind the Panthers, and I don't think that's going to be um, the same. I don't think that's going to be the same after this round because uh, Panthers play the doggies. So, <laughs> sheesh. Sheesh. Uh, Desmond says, under sixes, but they might struggle a bit still. Absolutely. Uh, Raf221 says, today I played my first rugby league game for my school. Well, you probably get, ran into a couple of Broncos players playing the opposite team, mate. Second tackle here for the Mother Storm, Justin Ola, the big Papua New Guinea flyer with a nice little run there. Nelson Stoffer Salomon gets it out to the 40 meter line. Clemson's try. Um, there's been about six tries for the Mother Storm, seven in total, one for the Broncos. Uh, oh, no. Oh, Broncos, don't do it to yourselves. Don't do it to yourselves. Fourth tackle here with the Bubble Storm. They're 35 metres out here from the line. 
Um, Caramel says, do you think there is a possibility that the Panthers could go unbeaten? I'm slowly starting, although it will be very hard. No. I, I, I just, I think Origin's going to kill him. Nika Hines gets the ball out to the right-hand side here. It's going to be uh, Remus Smith gets the offload to Nika Hines. Hines still going here. And Hines is going to get taken down. Ooh, he's going to get taken over the line. Very nice. Very nice for the Broncos to get taken over the line there. Nika Hines couldn't do much there. Luke Jones says, you are in a lottery room with our Titans, boys, and you can only say one thing, then what do you say? Oh, one thing, not one word, okay. Uh, it's like, I want to say get better defense, but they know this. I've spoken to them. They know their defense is shit ass. Um, I just tell them to beat the Broncos. That's all I care about, you know. <laughs> they didn't do it once this year, but they did it the other time. Um, Daniel Marnie says, of oh, Mahoney, sorry. I say Marnie because obviously there's a player in the NRL called Reed Marnie with the exact same last name as you, and it, it confuses me. Um, Adept King says Cameron Smith would be happy. Um... Yeah. Yeah, okay. First second leave of the Broncos, 34 meters out here. Cameron Smith would be happy. Fair fair enough. Maybe, you know. Dazmate says, ask them what's their KFC order. That's a good question, but like it is it is a solid question that needs to be answered. Like you're spot on. Arfid says, Who would win Panther Panthers on the or the Queensland Maroons? Maroons. I'm sorry. Maroons. <laughs> like, New South... Well, one second here. Broncos here. Ooh, good tackle by the Storm there. 20 minutes out here. Four tackle. One second. Four tackle here. Brisbane Broncos, left-hand side. Uh, and Aziata's still going here. Aziata's still going here. 15 minutes out. Gets the offload away to Kelly. Kelly taken down. Ooh, slammed down. Jeez. Slammed down. Jeez, my hair's getting my way. So, if, by the way, I can't get the haircut until we hit 10K. So, please, for the love of God, subscribe. Fit tackle here, Milford, Milford, Milford steps inside. Little kick, nice kick actually. Dead set, that is the dumbest try I've ever seen conceded. That is dead set, the dumbest try I've ever seen conceded. This is this is the storm. This is how bad they've played tonight. They're up 34-10. Like, that's a good kick from Milford, but no one's going to give him credit. No one's going to give Milford credit for this. They're going to be like, oh, how shit was he tonight? Nice little kick there. Should have been taken up by the storm, but nice little kick from Milford. Uh, Dazmat says Bronx winning. Yep. Mate, it's still Milford's fault. Um, still Milford's fault they lost. Um, <laughs> but no, like, Queensland win that. Like, Queensland beat New South Wales. Don't forget that. Like, people, I don't get it. Why do people still insult Queensland? People still insult Queensland as if they're not the current champions. Like, New South Wales fans, get a grip. Get a grip. This is the reason you lost last year. Because of this. And I'm not having to go at whoever just asked me that question. Um, I'm just saying, like, this is a general theme. Why are New South Wales fans still talk? They, they are talking as if they are the current champions. I don't get it. I don't actually comprehend it. Why do New South Wales fans talk like they are the current champions when they're not? <laughs> um, True Bros says, go Blues. Yeah, go Blues. Go home. Paul H says, Broncos score next. Well, they did. And um, you, you also said that about a minute after they already did, but uh, Sarko will slap it through. So it'll be 34 to 12 here. We're 22 minutes to go to the game. Um, no one says, who wins, Queensland or Panthers? Sammy Sears says, Broncos not doing too well in stormy weather. Um, yeah, it's not really stormy weather, though. It's pretty nice. Um, Memphis says, blame Milford for that horrendous kick that worked out well. Exactly right. How dare Milford play above his standards and kick a nice little kick through? That's ridiculous. Um, Camilla says, well, Blaze, who wins, New South Wales or Storm? New South Wales. Easy. 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 <laughs> I don't understand these questions. <laughs> like, Queensland beat New South Wales, right? And New South Wales makes up a, a, a decent deal of Penrith players. Um, but, like, New South Wales beat Panthers and, and Queensland beat the Panthers. I don't get the, I don't get the question. Uh, look, Mahomes says, Raiders to cause an upset. Uh, Raiders are absolutely shockingly shithouse this year. On every little facet of every little part of every little game, they are terrible. And they also don't want to play for their coach because their coach is an arsehole. So, you know, a bit of a difficult one there. Jermaine Saka here, right-hand side, gets it off. It's going to be taken out at halfway point. Ooh, he lost the ball. Ooh, see you later. Knock on. Um, Lawrence Dugerman um, says, Bro, who do you think is the best Queensland halfback right now? Halfback? Cherry Evans. Easy. Cherry Evans, easy. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to move this a little bit down here so that I can uh, stretch out a bit. There you go. There you go. Uh, the best halfback is for oh, who's the best halfback in general? I'm taking Nathan Cleary and then Adam Reynolds and then I'm taking Cherry Evans. Um, oh, wait a second. What's going on here? Penalty for... Oh, apparently it's a penalty here against the, the Mon Storm. Probably right, to be honest with you, but... Um, Justin... Like, yeah, okay, but like, come on, man. 
Like, like, come on, man. Like, come on, man. Like, okay, it's apparently the Broncos, but like, come on, man. Um, Arfi says, Sam Walker and Reese Walsh were Queensland halves if Munster doesn't play. Reese Walsh is like literally a debutante this year, lads. Like, Origin's a different game. You know, the NRL's great and all, but you're talking about a kid. You're talking about a kid coming into play a spinal position. Like, Reese Walsh has been good for the Warriors, but he's been um, inexperienced for the Warriors, let alone Queensland. Like, there's a big difference, lads. I think he's going to be good, but in the same sense, let's relax because, geez, if he's playing for Queensland, that's da- like it's dangerous to him because if he has a bad game, he's... it's dangerous. Third tackle here with the Brisbane Broncos, 15 metres out here, right-hand side. Um, steps around here, steps around here, and they're going to be 15 metres out here on the line. The only one-on-one strip it won't be. Fourth tackle here with the Brisbane Broncos. Right-hand side they come. And Walker's very similar, mind you. Walker is incredibly in a similar boat there. Broncos are going to offload the ball here to Flegler. Flegler here, taking down 10 minutes out. Unless he gets the offload away? No, he won't get the offload away. Uh, Paul Matuno says, uh, get the horse on its four legs in this stormy weather. They are shocking. Right-hand side here, fifth tackle. Milford, Milford, Milford. Gets the offload away. Gets it to Didden, Didden to... Um, not Didden, sorry. Turpin. Turpin to Kelly. And that kick is just horrific. That kick is just absolutely horrific. That kick is terrible. Um, Arfie says, what about Harry Grant? He made his debut in his first year for the NRL. Um, but, well, to be fair, you're not wrong. But, like, I just don't, I just don't see it. You, you're not wrong there, but I just don't agree with it. Um, I think that in regards to that, Jake Friend was too bland um, in today's game compared to what you need in Harry Grant. I just don't see Reese Walsh doing it. If he does, I think that he's been inexperienced in his games. The penalty is the Melbourne Storm here. I think he's been inexperienced in games for the Warriors. So what's that going to do when you're coming up against a New South Wales team who is absolutely undeniably on paper better than your team? I don't get it. Um, Dazmate says, Queensland didn't have much options last year anyway. Yeah, but they don't have much options in the halves this year if, if Monster's out, is the question, basically. So Melbourne Storm here with the ball, 45 minutes out here with the Brisbane Broncos line. Uh, Cam Evans says, no, no, Sammy and Walsh should not play for Queensland for the sake of their careers, not yet, at least possibly in the future. Absolutely. But in the same sense, like Sam Walker's nowhere near. Sam Walker's nowhere near. Because um, Cherry Evans is there, for one. Uh, and there's, there's six, I guess, like, I guess there's Reese Walsh, but there's just, just, you just can't be going for someone so young, in my opinion. Oh, my God, Storm here, five minutes out here, third tackle. Storm here, five minutes out here, third tackle. Brandon Smith here, gets the ball out to the left-hand side. No, he's got to try himself. Oh, my goodness me. Broncos, Broncos, Broncos. Like, they just are humiliating themselves, my man. They just are. Uh, yeah, look, I agree, Antonio Raphael. Um, he says, Harry Grant made his debut as a rookie, but he came off the bench. Can you? And you had Jake Friend there to help him out. Jake Friend is consistent and will get the job done for you. Um, and I think that Harry Grant coming off and providing that extra bit of excitement um, off the bench was very good. So I would agree with that one, yeah. Um, but, like, overall, I think that there's just, thank you very much, Fish Account, for subscribing. Overall, I think that you just can't have a starter who's like 19 or 18. However, Sam Walker's what? How old is he? Like 18? Reese Walsh is what? Like 18, 19? I'm sorry. You can't be having Origin players starting at 18, 19, in my personal opinion. Uh, and on philosophy, Ponga six, Brimson one. Potentially, I think Brimmer gets the number one. Um, Brimmer, actually, Ponga does probably get number six, to be honest with you. Ponga does probably get number six at this point, anyway, in my opinion. Uh, by the way, guys, we're five likes away from 90. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. I'm not going to stream tomorrow night unless we hit 100 today. Bloody tell ya, hit that thumbs up button immediately, mate. Immediately. Um, somebody said, said Storm is scoring like lightning strikes. Mate, they're killing them, mate. They're absolutely slapping them up on every single facet, and it's brilliant to watch. I love it. You love it. We all love it. It's brilliant. It's beautiful. It is just literally sexy to watch the Broncos get slapped out week in, week out. Uh, Fisher Callum says, what team do you support, mate? I'm, a Go- I'm from the Gold Coast, mate. So I'm a Titans fan. Um, so, uh, you know, I know how it feels to be shit. But in the same sense, we're not doing too bad now. We're in the top eight. I'll take it. I will take it. And Nega Hines will slap it through. So it'll be 40 to 12 here to the Melbourne Storm with 16 and a half minutes to go. How many points has Nega Hines scored? So they've only missed one kick so far. He's scored a try. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12... Plus a four point. Is he on 16 points, Nico Hines? 
How many points? Is he on 16 points? Am I, or am I getting that wrong? Because they've had seven tries, but he's only scored six conversions. Am I am I wrong? Plus, obviously, the four points of the try. And uh, Lachlan Ham says Nico Hines made a match for me. I think Brand Smith's been pretty good, but I'll take Nico Hines too. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think I think Brand Smith's been pretty good though. He scored the try there. He also got the off lo- the pass away to Nico Hines for the try. It's between those two. Um, Musty Cats is watching Broncos get smashed. It's one of my favorite pastimes. Pastimes, one of my favorite new times. Um, all times. Dasmo says not Milford is not Milford. He's always the worst, mate. Milford is the reason for every single try in this game. Every single one. You heard me right. Every single one. So sixteen and a half minutes left here. Melbourne Storm with the ball here. Can they score a couple more? Can someone please tell me how many points <laughs> that um, Emma right there and calculating Nico Hines with how many points? Uh, a sixteen or something like that. Not confident Melbourne Storm. Uh, Come says, hey, well, at least the Broncos scored 12 points. Okay, so, so Nico Hines is leading 16-12 right now on my maths. Where am I right? Come uh, says, they are looking at the goods. They are looking at the goods. The Brisbane Broncos are pretty good. They're pretty good, man. They are pretty good. Sammy Sousa says, um, oh, I read that comment already. Oh, no, sorry. The horsies are just being totally driven off the panic. The the horsies are shocking. They are just shocking. Uh, Mevita says, why are Storm making silly errors? Because they just don't... It's like... They're being they're being humiliated right now. They're being humiliated for the fact that they are literally being forced to play this shocking game with this shocking team. Like, they've played average and they're they're winning forty to twelve. Like they're playing average and they're winning forty to twelve. Like what in the shit planet are we watching this? What in the shit? Remember that says oh, that's right. Um, Jamie Robinson says Broncos are chasing Heinz. Well, they should be chasing. <laughs> Fair enough. That's a good one. That's a good one there, Jamie. Uh, second tackle. Yeah, I didn't realize it at first. 15 minutes out here. Left-hand side. Ooh. Ho, ho. Bang, guy. You idiot. Ooh. That's a stupid pass. Um, hold on one second. Uh, oh, it's gone over. So, yeah. That's how bad the pass was. I'm in Sydney. Passes went up my head. Um, Cameron says, but let's not forget, Blaze, that the Broncos beat us last week, so they will win the grand final. No worries. Oh, Broncos fans actually, I guarantee you there would have been at least 50 Broncos fans who probably bought grand final tickets. I'd probably say t- between 25 and 50 Broncos fans bought grand final tickets that day. Um, Antonio Raphael says, yes, you are correct. I'm always correct, Antonio. Mate, the last time I, was co- I wasn't correct, I told you I wasn't correct. So I was correct. You know what I'm saying? Isaac Play says, what are your thoughts about the new high tackle rules or something? We spoke about this to death, bro. We spoke about this so many, many times at the streams. There's no point going over it again. Um, <laughs> uh, Desmond says, who you win? Kings or Wildcats? Who I win? Who I win? I'm taking, buddy, no one, because they're both terrible. Nah, Perth Wildcats will win that one easy. Third tackle here for the Melbourne Storm. They're, what, 35 minutes out here from their own line? I um, haven't watched any NBL recently, actually. Oh, Jerome Hughes said from the inside, he used to... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, Storm. Oh, no. Oh, 12 minutes short here. Still going here, actually. 10 minutes out here. Fourth tackle for the Melbourne Storm. For ten, uh, go to the right-hand side, Storm. Nico Hines here. Nico Hines, he kicks it through. It's a try, maybe. Oh, no. That was a terrible kick from Nico Hines. Terrible. Terrible. Um, William Hudson, I'm not used to the, the two of this game. No Simba yet. What is going on? Yeah, it's pretty weird. Um, Ignatius, Cambrero, Scatterman, how are you? Um, dealing with a shithouse game. That's what I'm t- doing. I'm tolerating it. I'm tolerating it. You mean? I'm tolerating it. I'm not dealing with it nicely, but I'm tolerating it. No one says, who's man in the match? Me. Sammy Sue says, thankfully, no one has been binned or sent off yet. Exactly right. First tackle with the Brisbane Broncos. They're 40 minutes out from their own line. Oh, uh, well, that's going to be a knock-on. No, it's not going to be a knock-on. Don't worry about that. Apparently not. Apparently not. Second, I want to see Melbourne Storm get 50 here. Come on, man. Come on, man. I also want to see two more likes. I still want to see two more likes to hit 90. Right down well now. Sick of this. How dare you guys? How dare? <laughs> so third tackle here for the Brisbane Broncos. They're 40 metres out here from the line. Third tackle. And Jermaine Asako. What do you mean it's tough one for the stats guys to count? Gee whiz. I'm so, I'm, oh, that's a knock-on from the, the Resident Broncos there for sure. Melbourne Storm with the ball. Oh, my God. They've lost their lollies. Oh, no. No way is this a knock-on Melbourne. This has to be a Brisbane knock-on. It, yeah, it is a knock-on from Brisbane. It has to be a knock-on Brisbane. <laughs> Isaac, Isaac plays. Brother, <laughs> I'm streaming tomorrow regardless of how many likes we get. Like, <laughs> it's it, mate. No matter what, which <laughs> there was no knock on phone there from the storm anyway. There was no there was no knock on there from the storm anyway. Like So the challenge is the Brisbane Broncos, but I don't really know why, because I don't even believe there's a knock on here from the Broncos at any stage. 
So I think he's just lost. There's no, you can't say that's a strip. He's just lost that ball. Yeah, there's no intent to strip there. It's a loose carry to knock on. It's gone backwards anyway. Like, shit, man. What you wasting our time for, Broncos? Shit, man. Oh, I want to see Nega Hines hit 20. And I also want to see the Melbourne Storm hit 50. So, ow. Stretch my legs. Uh, what are you talking about? Determine the restart at this stage. Like, it's clearly a knock on for the Broncos. Like, what are you talking about? Uh, remember, this is a great challenge for the Bronx. What a waste of my time. The challenge is unsuccessful. I hate you, Broncos. I hate you. How dare you waste our time? How dare you waste our time? Um, so, Melbourne Storm will get the ball here about 40 minutes out from their own line. Come on, we want to see 50. We want to see 50, Melbourne. Just score a couple more tries. So, Melbourne Storm still have their challenge remaining, obviously, whilst the Brisbane Broncos lose their stupidest challenge of all time. I hate you, Broncos, for wasting our time tonight. Every single damn well Thursday or Friday night. Besides last week, you got a Saturday game. Every time. Every damn old time. Alrighty, Melbourne Storm here. 30 minutes out here. Can they score off the scrum? Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, Storm next five games. Just seen Titans at home. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm not even going to read the next five games out. I've already seen Titans next game. I'm just scared already. Um, Sammy Sinner says, Broncos are horrific with Milford in the saddle. Broncos are horrific with... Second tackle here for the Melbourne Storm. 40 minutes out here from the line. Right-hand side of the come. It's going to be Bromwich inside the 30 here. Nice little 10-meter run there. Um, I like you, says Cooper John's first try. Um, well, considering that we're 12 minutes to go here of the game and it's already 40 to 12, Josh had a car here, kicks it through, and that's not played up by the Broncos. Josh had a car, what are you doing, my dude? Just play it out, man. Uh, William Hunt says, Solomon, oh, it's a knock-on from Broncos, apparently. Huh? A pl- huh? It's a Bronco, it's a Melbourne Storm ball here. Um, I agree, no, some, some Solomon has been very good tonight, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Um, so what is this knock on or something? What are they calling? I don't think he played the ball there. Um, Dennis says need I love to score a try. Well, he's been he hasn't been that great this year, in my opinion. I think he's been hard running, but he doesn't score a great deal of tries. Um, so Melbourne will get a fresh out of 60, 10 minutes out. Don't know how this happened. I don't know how this happened. Um, so here come the storm. Can they score? I, I want to see fifty, please, please. Uh, Troy Bray says, who are you picking between Parra and Rabbits? I'm taking Rabbits, mate. First tackle here for the Storm. Five minutes out. Left-hand side. Oh, my God. Pass the ball, bro. And they score a try. Jesse Bromwich, bro. Pass that ball. And they score the easiest try ever. So, two minutes short here. Right-hand side. Jerome Hughes. Jerome Hughes to Felice Cafusi. Three minutes short. Taken down there. Albert Kelly. Jerome Hughes. Nigga Hines. Nigga Hines. Nigga Hines. Nigga Hines still going here. Nigga Hines still going here. Taken down. Ten minutes out. I don't know what he's doing there. Four tackle here for the Storm. Guys, don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you are new around here and smash that thumbs up button. Jerome Hughes with the ball, steps on the inside, steps on the outside, steps again, still offloads it. They should score a try here. They should, okay, no, they got the ball the off to the, to, oh, it's going to be, oh, pass straight to the Broncos. What are you doing, Russ? Russ, what's you doing? Why is the Storm playing like this? Like, they look shit house. I don't get it. This team is very good. Why do they look terrible tonight and still scoring 40? William Hunt has scratched that. Solomon just gave away the ball. I don't get why the Storm playing like this. I don't get it. Um, Danny Mavide says, why did you offload that? Why? What are you trying to prove? No, well, he's trying to offload it because he's trying to get the... Like, there's plenty of space out left, but in the same sense, like, there was about 300 Broncos players surrounding him there. It makes no sense. So, four tackle here for the Broncos. What well, makes sense in the fact that they want to... Oh, jeez. Can people just stop throwing the offloads? I didn't even realize Dale Copley was playing this game. That's baffling. I, have, I don't think I've said Copley's name once in this game, besides just now. I don't think I've said Dale Copley's name once in this game, besides just now. That is outrageous. Oh, wow. Oh, this ball's actually going to bounce perfectly for the Broncos on fifth tackle. And it's 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 going to be Storm Ball. <sighs> Look to Tanzini says, Hughes got a try? I don't think so. I think everyone man and his dog has scored a try in this game, except for Hughes and Olam. Um, <laughs> pretty much, mate, to be honest with you. Uh, Alan Davis says, who is the being the best Broncos tonight? Um, no one. Uh, who would be the best Broncos tonight? I actually don't, I couldn't tell you. Uh, who would be the best Broncos tonight? Let me know in the chat, guys. Who would you say? Besides Milford. <laughs> Second tackle leave with the Melbourne Storm. They're 40 minutes out here. Right-hand side, Jerome Hughes. Nigga Hines. Nigga Hines himself steps away. Steps away. Still going here. Thank you much. I can smell you for subscribing. Appreciate you. 40 minutes out. Um, Cameron says, Dale Copley, you're saying this game. I haven't heard this name since he played for us. 
Um, fair enough. He was okay at the Titans. Dog games, we did good. Who did good? Who did good? Are you talking about who? Oh, Nelson of Sava Salamone with a huge run there. 15 minutes out. Who did good? Who did damn well good? Jerome Hughes here, left-hand side. Justin Olam, knock on for the Broncos. That's a knock on for the Broncos there. That's a knock on for the Broncos there. Um, in my opinion. Uh, oh, well, hold on. What? Sorry. This is definitely knock on for the Broncos. Dog games. I've got a question for you. Who are you saying we did good? Who is good? You better not be saying Broncos. You better not be Broncos fans saying we did good. But uh, the Broncos have been horrific in this game. They're lucky to have only lost 40-12 because the Storm have been bad. And yet the Storm are still winning 40-12 to whilst being bad. Surely you're not a Broncos fan. Surely you're saying Melbourne Storm. But Melbourne Storm haven't even been that good. Storm fans would know this hasn't been a great performance. Lawrence Dugerman says, Payne House has been the best Broncos all season so far. Really? What's he done, bro? Like, what's he done? You're probably right, but in the same sense, what's he done? I haven't noticed him besides like making a couple of runs here and there. I don't think he's done that fantastic, in my opinion. Um, but okay, Albert Kelly with a nice little run there. Four tackle with the Broncos inside the attack and a half. They still need to score two converge or two tries here to score. Dog game subscribe, appreciate you. So fifth tackle here with the Risen Broncos. They're 30 minutes out here. I like you. Says who do you go for? Um, I am from the Gold Coast, brother. I'm a Titans man. Albert Kelly puts the ball up in the air. And I can tell you, if I think my team's shit out, I'll tell you. Oh, is that a knock-on from the Broncos or a knock-back from the Broncos? That's, that's going to be, I think, still fifth tackle here. I think it's still fifth tackle. It is still fifth tackle. The Broncos are still going here, 25 minutes out. And no, I must have been set restart. Oh, it was set restart, sorry. Ah, so right-hand side here, I like you, says Storm play them next week. I know, I'm scared. I'm terrified. Our defense is, is terrifyingly bad, so I'm scared to play the Storm next week. First tackle here with the Risen Broncos. So 20 minutes out, Jermaine Sarko offloads it. Second tackle. Uh, second destroy says Bulldogs lose 100 nil on Panthers. No cap. I know you're not capping there. So here we go. Left hand side here. Chance here for the Broncos. Kelly taken down five meters short of the line. Right hand side. Oh, this is terrible for the Broncos. If they score here, that just shows you how bad the Storm are not. So fifth tackle here. No, sorry. Four tackle here for the Broncos. They're 10 meters out. And Turpin with one of the most. That is dead set one of the worst fifth tackle, fourth tackle kicks I've ever seen in my life. That is dead set one of the worst fourth tackle kicks I've ever seen in my life. Thank you for wasting my time yet again, Turpin. Um, but that's your number nine for next year, guys. Apparently, Broncos are competitive next year without Adam Reynolds. That's your number nine. Nice. Um, Secret Choice says, Craig Bellamy not impressed right now. I don't think I don't think if you're a Storm fan, you'd be impressed with this performance at all. Uh, and that's scary. That is That is scary. Uh, Karen Mavis says, Blaze, what do you want? That is the best kick I've ever seen. Fair enough, to be honest with you. It wasn't bad in the sense that the Storm did appreciate it. So it was a good kick for the Melbourne Storm. Um, we're one like away from 90, guys. Come on, I want to see that 90. I want to smack that buddy. Hit that 90. One more like away from there. And obviously, subscribe if you're ready. But the Melbourne Storm here, on to a very easy win for a shithouse performance. It is second tackle for the Storm. Right hand side, they come. Two week gummy gummy. Tatoso viti. Um, Machu says, second story, stop smoking, bro. Bulldogs are all shot every year, mate. They're fantastic. Oh, Nico Hines away here. Nico Hines, oh, he nearly got away there. Fourth tackle here. Thank you much. I like you for subscribing. Um, oh, Nico Hines is down here. Oh, I think it's a cramp. It's just getting cramped. It's just getting cramped. Whole scene says, no respect for Broncos. That's why sloppy game for Storms. Um, but, uh, it's a sloppy game and they're up 40 to 12. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a sloppy game for the Storm and they're at 40 to 12. Uh, John says, there's your 90. Mate, buddy, we're nearly at 100. We may as well get 100 now. You know, five likes away. May as well, buddy, crack it on. Oh, Josh had a car here. Josh had a car. He's going to take him inside. Oh, it's a good play. Oh, Adokar is going to take him inside here. Yep, see ya. That's going to be a drop out. <laughs> oh, no, that's a drop out. That is a drop out, my friends. And the Melbourne Storm slap him down. Lawrence says, Payne has been running hard. The others just need to follow his lead. Punk guy's good, but what's he done in this game? What did he do in last... Like, was he the guy that you looked at last week? I don't understand how Punk guy is the best player for... Uh, sorry. Um, Payne Haas is the best player for the Broncos this year. You know, I don't really think there's been... I think Asako has been the player of the year for the, for the Broncos. He's usually a pretty average fullback, but I think that Asako is one of the better fullbacks... Um, well, one of the better players for the Broncos this year, in my opinion. Um, I don't really understand how Payne Haas is getting massive credit for this year. But, you know, your opinion. So, three minutes 50 to go here of the game. Sammy Sue says, don't know why the Storm are being sloppy in the last couple of minutes. Last couple of minutes? Brother, they've been sloppy the whole game. 
Jerome Hughes gets it off. It's going to be oh, Storm here. Still nearly stepping the inside there, but taken down 15 minutes short. Uh, long distance Dean says Cowboys are Warriors. Don't, guys, don't forget, we'll be streaming tomorrow night's games. Um, should be interesting. I'm taking the Warriors, though. I'm taking the Warriors. Jerome Hughes here. Gets it off to Feliz Carfusi. Uh, Wasapi says, last week Bronx won because of ref. Now they deserve 50 points. Well, they, they might not get 50 points unless the Storm can score right now. They need score on this set, the Storm. Otherwise, the 50 points won't be coming. Oh, my God. Don't tell me Bronx scores that. Four tackle here for the Storm. They're one meter short here. Gets it back here to... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was terrible. That's going to be a knock-on for the Broncos. Oh, accidental offside against the Broncos. Accidental offside against the Broncos. Alan Davis and Melbourne's win the grand final, I reckon. Maybe. Panthers are there. Don't forget the Panthers. Troy Barry says Cowboys. No, I disagree. I think the Warriors will win that. John O2, uh, thank you very much for subscribing. Who do you go for, John Who do you go for? But that's definitely an accidental offside there. Melbourne Storm should go for the two here. No, they shouldn't, because then they'll still be eight points away. We want to hear the 50. We want to see the damn well 50, man. Why can't you just give us a demo 50? Broncos, just let the Nico High score make it 20 points for Nico. You know what I'm saying? Just let, let it happen. Just just let it slip, all right? Let it slip in. So Storm here from the scrum, right-hand side. Jerome Hughes, Nico Heinz. No, it's going to be... Oh, no. Storm are going to actually score on the wing. It's going to, They're going to miss the kick, I guarantee. It's going to be a high tackle here. Um, a penalty to the Melbourne Storm here. Tell me it's out. Um, Machu says... Look, uh, uh, Car will put the wheels on for New South Wales Blues. Well, he didn't last year, did he? Did he? Hey, hey, yeah. Another scrum. Oh my god! I just want to see a fifty points. I still need a score. Shit, man. So Ian Payne guy, obviously, yeah, broke early. We get it. Cool. Okay, can we play, play the game now, please? Can we play the game? Thank you very much. I don't care about Payne guy breaking the scrum early. I don't care. Um. Okay. So another chance here. A minute forty to go. They need to be quick, though. Then it'd be quick. Oh my god, we're not even gonna get to see it. This is the longest three minutes I've ever seen in my life. So Storm here with the ball. Oh my god, right inside Jerome Hughes to Nico Hines. Nico Hines here taking down five minutes short. Oh, they're not even gonna get fifty because they're not gonna have enough time. Dennis, thank you much for subscribing. Nico Hines rolls it back. Left hand side here for the moment Storm. Oh no, they're not even gonna have enough time to score the fifty. Alan Davis, what sports were you good at growing up? Every single sport, mate. I'm a buddy machine. Right-hand side, Storm, five minutes out. Third tackle, for the love of God, do it. Just do it, please, Storm. Just do it. Score right now. Anigo Hines here with the ball underneath. Five minutes short, four tackle. Storm aren't going to have enough time. Five minutes out here. Tigers or Dragons? I'm taking Tigers long term, but it's going to be a tough one. Four tackle, leave the Storm. If they score here, it's going to be such a tease. Oh, Justin Olam. Justin Olam. Justin Olam! Oh my god, how have they stopped that one? Fit tackle here. Pass the ball, Olam, Carol says. So, fit tackle here for the Storm. Right hand side. Kick it over the top. And over the top it goes from Johns. And it's going to be ta grabbed there. It's still Storm's ball here. Still Storm ball. Still Storm ball. <laughs> still Storm ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is outrageous. This is actually ridiculous at this point. This is ridiculous at this point. Fifth tackle here. The Storm going for a field goal. Oh, no. He's kicked it up. He's kicked it up, apparently. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, this is just terrible. This is this is a summary of how this game's gone here today, guys. Three likes away from 100. Hit the thumbs up button. Gee whiz. What a shocking game. <laughs> what a shocking game. Oh, no. Oh, no. And that is the siren, my friends. That is the siren. Um, the final score will be 40 to 12 here to Melbourne Storm. Now, look, the Storm played average. And they just won 40 to 12. The Broncos played the Broncos. They were the Broncos. Um, that is pretty self, uh, that is pretty obvious to say. That is how the Broncos play. Um, I don't know what to say. No Pappenhausen, no Munster, no Harry Grant, shithouse, 140 to 12. That's, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's literally it should sum it up for you um, but guys I'm going to jump off for now um, I will see you guys tomorrow night for two games obviously there is the Dragons and uh, Tigers which is the prime time Friday night game uh, <laughs> jeez um, and obviously the Warriors and the Cowboys game earlier on as well um, appreciate you for tuning in obviously Broncos scored 12 points they'll be happy with that but their shit house and Storm well done you're now second place I get it cool Billy Max is the Broncos with Storm in the 90s um, and the 2000s. 90s and 2000s, absolutely. But they're not the Storm or the... They're, they're, they are the... They are the Parramatta Eels of the 2010s right now. 
that's well, they're not that bad. They're, they're bad, but they're not that bad. Uh, but all right, guys, jumping off. Appreciate you. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here. At 10,000, we're going to give away a brand new jersey to one of you guys. And I will see you guys next time. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. See you.